All right, I think we're back online. <laughs> right. Sods low, we've been perfectly all right all day, but, you, but the good news is you've not missed anything. It's still nil-nil. It's been a tactical battle. Our fans' slight favourite. Bill Bailey's just lost another stone and a half. I think Daz has taken the new Patrick Starfish title. But to be fair, Square was loitering around as well. So I hear on the grapevine we've got a match between Matty Parker and Matty Courtman, £500 a man. Well, he's given Matt a, a little sniff here. As much as I'd love to um, tell you about the body language, the club's that full I can't see the table. Standing room only this. It's an awkward queuing, is this? Right then. First frame nerves. He's just, uh, he's just unplugged my headphones, as Phil, what's nice of him. I thought I was going deaf, and I realised I am. Just well, I wasn't, I was listening to the right ones, and then, and then Phil just unplugged them. Nice of him. Okay, I'm back. And breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Best laid plans. So uh, I'll get Dazzler back on so that, so that the dull and duller scream team can uh, continue and do some damage. Yes, mate. Yeah. Can I was, someone uh, just uh, confirm on the chat that we're uh, all happily up and running again, please? Yeah, if you would. I, I just stepped in there whilst everybody was panicking. I thought I'd keep the calm. And then realised I was talking to myself because we weren't even on the bloody stream. So, I'll, uh, I will just dismantle and hand over. Enjoy. Thank you. Cheers, Lammy. Well, I'm back, Phil. Yes, Daz, good to see you again. Yeah, sorry about all the... Uh <laughs> I only turned me back for two minutes, go and sort the scoreboard in the club, and all of a sudden, we're offline. Cheers, Stefan, he's uh, confirmed, and Greeny and uh, Dave, they all confirmed we're on. What a shot that was, Phil. What a shot. That's what it's all about, Daz. Johnny Toast has joined us. Good evening, John. Are you well? Come on, 
Well, that was an unexpected miss. It was, definitely. In fact, I can't understand how that black hasn't dropped. No, I know. Look how close it is, in, or how far it is into the pocket. It is, it's ridiculous. It's been a cagey one to start with, I believe. Yeah, there's a lot of respect between these two guys. They're good friends. Yeah, certainly is. Looking good now for Matt to uh, well effectively steal this first frame, does? Yeah, it is a steal. Oh dear! Now you say oh, that, dear, film. oh dear! <laughs> and that's unbelievable. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give up saying something. I'm just. I'm it's just unbelievable. Gonna... So one nil to our fan. Wow. Okay. Well, it was the first frame, Phil. Yes. Both the guys have been practicing on the practice table, but they have been waiting for quite some time to get. Uh, get this match underway so Matt Braley to break for the first time see what Matt can do I wouldn't say good friends Phil but respect is there from uh, Stefan I know what you mean, they've, they've been happily talking in the club this evening, shall we say. Oh dear. Well, what do you think about that, Das? We're back to world rules, of course, Back guys. to world rules now, yes. Uh, it was a different to, to commentator. Ah, you're in, you're in your element now, Daz, you know all about these rules. Oh, I know all about these rules. I still can't play these, neither. <laughs> ah, but you can see all the shots, though. Oh, I know the shots. <laughs> <laughs> I never miss from here, film me. Oh, you what? Sat here? Never miss. No chance. They're all break dishes. Okay, so Arthur's taken the yellows. And to be honest, Phil, they look pretty good as well. You're starting to say something again, Dan. I am. Um, I wouldn't be doing that right this moment. <laughs> Let the guys see what they can do first. I think there might be a three ball plant happening here. There we go. <laughs> Lil Roberts is saying, come on, Matty. Arthur, if gets good lead and breaks, will win easy. I let Matty off usually when I played him. Arthur won't let him off. That's from Stefan. Well, to be fair, Daz, the, uh, the way they're laid out now. Yes, you would fancy uh, Arfan to finish these. Normally, Daz, yes. Normally we would uh, fancy Arfan to well, finish just these. Just let the guys get their eye in and uh, get their arms swinging. Club absolutely brimming now, Daz. Oh, it's packed, absolutely packed to the rafters. It's lucky we've got cameras because we can't see the table. No, <laughs> no, the both brought uh, plenty of support, Phil. Well, the Keith lads, they look after their own, don't they? Follow them anywhere. Yeah, our fans, uh, Stefan said our fans more consistent, but it's a tough match to call, joking aside. It is, and it's on the day, Stefan, as well, isn't it? You know, I mean, it's uh, it's okay on paper. Paper's one thing, actually, on the day, on the night. That's a great shot, though, from our fun. 
Yes, uh, David. Yeah, the David's been saying they're supporting on air as well. Lovely. Certainly. Uh, no. Gr Green has been here all day. <laughs> doing really. Yeah, and his computer isn't just on while he's doing the ironing in the background. No. <laughs> he is watching. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, that's it's a great lovely. shot from half on that. Very nice. So two 0 Phil. Yes, half on. Looking after his white ball. Good patterns. Good patterns, Phil. We like that, don't we? Good we like patterns. good patterns. Yeah. Good white, good pattern. You don't go far wrong, do you? Tell you what, there's no mess in neither. Is, uh, Keena mu Keena's mustard is half on, wrapped them very quickly. Well, it's a big break, but nothing in, Phil. Plenty of movement. Balls all over the place. White not in a particularly good position. Because I'm sure that he would prefer the Reds if he had a chance. Yes, it looks like the uh, the Keithy lad suppers all depend on whether Arfan wins or not. And they might be going <laughs> home and having some porridge or some cornflakes. What was the what's the current break dish uh, uh, break and run record today, Daz? What did that I end up? I don't know how many that ended up, Phil. To I be think honest. it ended up at least three. <laughs> Four. Four. Okay. So today's uh, highest is four. Let's see if these lads can uh, break that one. I think the highest on a on a on the money match does is is it six? I think so, Phil. Yes, uh, that was on an actual money match. I'm not on yes, about any no. of our PPSs. It was the uh, I think, I think Stefan game, wasn't yeah, it? It's a money match. Yeah. Looks like that could be a plant into the centre. Yes, and it is. Really only one yellow to sort out here, Daz. And it's yeah, it's the, just uh, the one on the side cushion there, Phil. It'll be the yellow to black if he doesn't uh, look at disturbing it. Yes, Stefan, I agree. It's purely on the day. So we may be taking this... Uh, the, his awkward yellow next. Let's see what he ends up doing. Well, I think he wanted to come up higher than that, does. Yes, I agree, Phil. He can still do it now, but he's, he's moving the white ball more than he probably wanted to. Yeah. 
we're going to make sure. Well, I don't know. He might. He might fancy disturbing it on the way down. But I think he's got to be careful that he doesn't t- uh, doesn't um, contact the white, the yellow ball on the way down on the cushion. I mean. Yeah, he's trying to disturb it. Okay. That's a good shot as well. Is that? It's a fact, great the shot. The pace. The pace is fantastic. And that makes it even easier for him now. I must admit, though, last uh, last time Matt played on this table, he got the pace of it very, very quickly, and his white ball control was fantastic. Yeah. Stop it. Stop that. Oh, oh, that's a great shot from Matt there. Perfect. Yeah, it's a nice one, Matt. That's so Mr. Buck's doing his uh, roving reporter bit now. That's a good report. He'll do it after this frame. We've put, uh, we've put the sheepskin coat onto Mr. Paul Buck and he's going down on the touchline. He's going to find out what's going on down there. Have a chat with the crowd. Gonna get uh, some opinions from the, uh, some of the from, the, from the, crowd. the crowd. I think he's making a beeline for Mr. Melling. Let's find out. I think he's going to do it after this frame, Phil. Yeah, he's, he's just had a chat. He, he might get uh, a few so words with him in between this one. Another good break from Matt there, Phil. Well, the white's looking good this time. The white's where he wants it. Yellows. Well, swings and roundabouts now. I've been looked around the table. There's probably more bad reds than there are yellows, Dan, so I agree. <laughs> he will have to disturb that yellow and red uh, that are next to the black, just to the left of the black. <laughs> At some point, if he chooses the yellows. Oh, he's played that well. He's just got the one difficult yellow there, but he's going to have opportunity to uh, develop that, Phil. Yeah. There's not, uh, there's not that many balls left down, so he, he, he'll have to address that quite quickly. Steph's asking who's the most drunk in the club. Well, obviously, Mr. Buck. But we do have Ross Doyle in, who's going to obviously go for it. <laughs> The Meadmores are in, Ryan Lang. Well, that, that is a good <laughs> All point. contenders, Dan. Ryan. Dan, actually, uh, Matt is... Matt uh, Yeah. Dan Skint now, he only won 600 quid earlier on. <laughs> so, yeah, Dan Knight's a good, uh, a good shout, Daz. The one thing it definitely in is Matthew Cartman. <laughs> <laughs> He's on his first pint. <laughs> <laughs> he sit. He, he saves his drink, does Matty. He's on his. He's on his second pint. Don't you? Don't you be upset, him, Matty? It's good to see him. We haven't seen him yeah, in no, four it's good, months, good, good to see him. He uh, stopped. He stopped coming to the Blue Dolphin. No, he's got a pint of uh, Amstel. It's a pint, a pint of Amstel. Three What's pound for a pint of Amstel. I'll tell you what, One that's, seven. That, that's not bad, is that, Daz? That's not bad. It's a good angle here. Yeah, he must be drunk, actually. He's arranged a money match with uh, Matty Parker. Does Matty Parker know about it? Yeah, Matty. Does he know? Yes. You mean arranged as in properly arranged? Oh, yes. Oh. Well, there we are. Uh, 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 what is it? Five hundred a man. Is Matt? Is Matty on the five, screen? Five hundred pound a man. I haven't seen him. I haven't seen Matty Parker's name come up yet. To be honest, unless he's uh, just got it on in the background. Yes, Steph Way. Yes, mate. It's organised. Yes, Way. Coming out of retirement, he's only had one money match. Thank you. 
It's to be decided yet, Steph, is that, I think. I know Matty, I know Ryan Lang's been talking to uh, Matty Parker on the uh, phone. Obviously, Matty, Matty uh, Coleman's here, so he's agreed on it. Two and a half. Does? Two and a half, race to 21? Two and a half hundred, I think it is a month. Hundred? Man. No, 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 no. Two and a half grand? I thought that's what they meant. <laughs> two, and a half, two and a half to me is two and a half thousand. It's, it's either 250, uh, two, 2,500 does, or 250 pounds a ball. 250 pounds a ball? Yeah. Black ball rules, I believe. Best beard. Yeah, best beard competition. Shame it isn't Movember, you'd have been proud of that. Okay, Daz, we're having a tactical one. Yes, uh, he's that, left it though. I'm saying that there is a there is a chance, you know. I think he, I think he's left it there. For if if he can put that in, what he, he could he go into the red and uh, and disturb it? Let's see. That's unfortunate. He did try and disturb them or get past them at least. Who's the England manager's bar? To get through, he must be able to get through to that yellow. He's tried the double. Oh, whoa, but well, that wasn't far away. I mean, I'm not sure that the red wouldn't have gone in if the yellow had gone because the red wasn't so far away neither. Yeah, Mr. Buck is now mingling. We'll, uh, we'll be able to catch him though, Daz, because he looks like a disco ball. The light is shining off his head, just like that mirror ball in the centre of the room. So you know where he is. There we go, Daz, you want to answer that one? I actually think this guy is one of Matt's mates, so I think he understands the black ball rules. I think he wants to know what they do. So if you turn if you turn it on its head, Daz, and talk about what the difference is to the black ball. Well, only that in, in the black ball you get the two shots carry. You can do a deliberate foul, unlike the uh, the black ball rules. Four balls after a cushion on the break. If a mm. 
Tends to be halfway between the old EPA does and uh, and World Rules itself as far as taking the best from each. Very popular indeed. I can hear I can hear Stefan typing away as fast as he can using the backspace every other key. He's trying to tell you that that quickly. Oh, that's unlucky. I'll have to take the other one now, a finer cut. Up and down the table. I doubt he'll be able to just hold this on his own. Of course, as we are, uh, we are expecting our fan to play up in the attractive area, but uh, there is a perfectly good safety shot on there. He can, he can take the cut on, it, it's certainly potable, but the problem is, is that he will be moving the white ball quite a bit. Lovely control. Two apiece, half on to break. Okay, I'm here with uh, two-time world champion Chris Mellin, uh, here to support his pal Arfan. Chris, your uh, quick views on the opening frame? Well, I think the ball's showing uh, quite a bit of nerves. Uh, obviously, Arfan had a chance early, missed it, then Matt was straight in the first rack to uh, have another chance to win the frame and missed an easy ball in the middle. I don't know why he stunned the ball. All he had to do was roll the ball and it was it was so simple. And uh, obviously then our fans missed another easy clearance there. And um, they both look quite nervous, but obviously there's a long way to go and anything can happen. Absolutely. And if, if we can find anybody crazy enough, do you fancy a bit of this yourself? Uh, <laughs> well, I, I haven't played so long. I, you know, top quality pool. Obviously, there's a lot of, a lot of good players around the world. But yeah, I'd be up for a game against the majority of players. Um, I was meant to play Craig Waddingham a few years ago, and at the last minute, I think a few people who was backing him decided to pull out. Uh, so the match never went ahead. But yeah, I'd have a game against most people. Well, most players. If we could get Chris Mellon and Craig Waddingham on here, then I think we'd need to uh, expand the place and put a we'd need to put a stadium up. I think it'd be immense. Yeah, I mean, I'm not I'm not pointing Craig out. I'm just saying, you know, I, w I would play anybody, but within reason I haven't played professionally for going on five or six years so obviously I'm not match sharp at this game but it won't take me too long I don't think it was worth a try we'll, we'll certainly put the feelers out Chris thanks for your time mate no doubt we'll come back and talk to you a little bit later for the meantime I'll hand you back to uh, Daz and Phil in the commentary booth 
Cheers, Paul. Thank you very much. So there, Chris, uh, Chris Belly, fancying a little, uh, a little tempter there. Any, any, anybody uh, fancy a bit of that? <laughs> Don't, all Don't all run at once. Don't all run at once. So meantime, half and taking the reds. Looking good for him. The Shamrock 8 says I think I could hear some of the Rochdale, Rochdale Cowboys then. They'll be running for the drunkest in the club soon. <laughs> 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 well, I tell you what, they're, they're going to have stiff competition from some of these lot that are in here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> some of these Leeds boys that are stood over at the other side of the room uh, like a beer as well absolutely all in good spirits though Daz all in good I spirits. hope so I hope so oh, I hope it's, it, it is at the moment I hope it stays lovely, that way lovely atmosphere and I hope it, it should do as it well it is it, it is. should do a lot of respect between the players So, he's just taking his time here, he's our fun. Yeah, I'm not so sure why. Uh, just maybe composing himself does. Uh, it's a relatively easy enough pot. He doesn't really have to do I too mean, we, much. We say about our fun, you know, but he doesn't play a lot of uh, eight ball money matches. Wow. He's oh. okay, he's just probably done enough. Yes, he has. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah. Yep. Good shot. It's away. Pulls out a lead again. Muggy's one in front. Matt, of course, is to break now. <sighs> There's money on Chris, Christine to be ejected. We don't know who Christine is, but uh, there we go. So the reds are down, does. So he has a choice now, he can change his colour. Yes. Right, so we're having to think about this because he's. He, I don't know why. Well, I don't know. Maybe he's still considering the reds. He might just be looking at maybe trying to go into and disturb his bad yellow now, does I mean, he may have the angle to come across and make some contact. Yeah, he's tried it. He's a bit unlucky. Stop. 
Thank you very much, Gary. Beautiful. Oh, that's a clever shot, and that's come out beautifully. Well done there, Matt. He's took the yellows out. Took his bad yellow out, sorry. Was Greeny super shot was that? Even managed to uh, just take the yellow and not to uh, disturb any of the reds. Very clean. Well, he's making short work of these, Phil. Can we see 21 20 coming on here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we'd all like to see that, Daz. <laughs> I don't know. I want to go home. <laughs> oh, no. Today? No, not, not this quality. No, you won't don't. be going home today. You might as well just uh, resign yourself <laughs> to that fact <laughs> that you won't be home till four o'clock. Yeah. And that's it. And we're talking three yeah, good, good clearance there from Matt. So three all. We're over to Mr. Mr. Buck again. Who's Roving reporter Paul Buck is on the uh, prowl again. We'll have the company of Steve Mills who, uh, from Greater Manchester and the England team manager over to support his pal Matt. Steve, what do you make of the early frames? Well, it's been pretty close so far. It's just, uh, you know, at the end of the day, they're both awesome players, aren't they? Absolutely. It's difficult to call so far. Um, I just spoke to Chris Melling and he said it's a little bit tense to start with. Were you expecting that? Well, no, not really. I was hoping Matt might have just settled down early doors and just play his normal game, which, which is pretty awesome, to be honest. Absolutely. We saw that against Stefan, but I think this is a very different game already. Well, yeah, I mean, Arthur's totally a different class of player than Stefan, to be fair. Well, Steve, it's a pleasure to have you with us. We will chat again, hopefully, a little bit later on. Thanks, Steve. Cheers. Back to uh, Daz and Phil in the commentary booth. Thank you, Paul. Cheers, Paul. Half on there with a good break. Unfortunately, the white ball's gone away. Balls have split nicely. Yes, the roving reporter. I'm sure he'll find another uh, interviewee. That's uh, that's uh, not too drunk. <laughs> Get off the fence, Millsy. <laughs> diplomacy, that is diplomacy. Nothing wrong with that. We'll give him a, a pair of pliers to pull the uh, splinters out later. <laughs> So of course back to world rules so we do have uh, two shots carry this time but it is first legal ball potted does sorry have i missed a foul phil <laughs> well the white ball went in off the break mate <laughs> so matty taking the reds shamrock what's what's your name shamrock can't keep saying Shamrock 8. 
<laughs> it's saying you need very big players. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Dave, Dave saying uh, stream seems getting too good at this. Rover Imports, whatever next. Oh, you are. Oh, we like to improve. We, we like have, to keep improving. We have all sorts of our sleeves. You should see what's coming later on this year with the PPS. But we like to keep you all wondering. Kev Holland. Cheers, Kev. So Matt wanted to actually go into the yellow there, Daz. He did contact the yellow, but not as full as he wanted, so you can't see the one to the centre. Still got the uh, the slightly more awkward uh, red into the, the bottom right as we yes. view it. Gonna have to watch his white ball on the way back here. Oh, he's played that well, Phil. Does that? I think that passes into the bottom corner. But has he gone too far? Well, if it does, it's lovely. I think he's gone too far, though, Phil. I'm not so sure whether our other camera view will uh, help us here, Daz. But we might have a quick look. I know we won't because he's down on his shot. Let's see what happens. He's down pretty quickly though, does if it? Yeah, he must do because, uh, as you say, he's down on it very quickly. Oh, that's oh, a great it's, shot. It's lovely. Great it's shot. It's lovely. AKA Mil Mills this crypt, crypt tonight. I usually get knocked out of the PPS by lunchtime, so if you can make sure your next trip is on before then, next trip get on before then, that's <laughs> Dave. And uh, you never know, next uh, next one, Dave, might be your day. We're only limited by our imagination, does here at the 147 that, Sports Bar. Yes, that's our... Uh, that's our mantra. Yeah. Bucky would tell us that all day long. And you can imagine how big Bucky's imagination is. It's bigger than his belly, Phil? I didn't say that. <laughs> I can say nothing because it's probably the uh, same size as mine. But you can get away with it. I think? can get away with it, <laughs> yeah. Got to get the digs in while we're on, Phil, because I'm sure they'll come to us when we leave this uh, booth. Oh, without, without a doubt. What did he call us? Yeah, uh, 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 well, he's called us all sorts. Oh, that is beautiful. Isn't yeah, it? great shot from Matt there. Yeah, that's lovely. That's lovely. Good shot, that. The, uh, the, the uh, black jumped up a little bit there in the pocket. He did, but it was a nice shot. Ah, it was a great nice shot. shot. Let's just put the player profiles on us. The guys are racking up this time very quickly. There it is. Half and dad, the daddy. He's age 30 from Keithley. And uh, it was a long time ago for his last uh, eight ball match, but it was apparently against Craig Dixon and he lost it. Then of course you just watched uh, Matt Braley there do the uh, do the clearance, and yes, he is a robot. He's 32 from Rochdale, and of course we last saw him on stream here in his debut against Stefan Rossidi, and that was 21-4. Sorry, Steph. I'm sure he'll uh, thank you for that, Phil. Yellow drop does. He has the option again to choose. Well, I think, he I think you're going reds here, Phil. 
I would be changing, but um, let's see. You never know. It's easy to call here, isn't it? We don't know. We, uh, I think it's only the yellow play. next to the black that uh, is the reason why I'm suggesting changing to yes. red. And you're right, Phil, he does take the reds. Yep. As we thought. It just means less work with the white ball, does he? He doesn't have to worry about disturbing the uh, the, the yellow and the black together because the black actually yeah. comes back into at least the bottom centre as we're viewing it. And he can get onto his uh, difficult red now yep. from this shot. Good angle there to just to drop it in and come back out. Once you get a nice angle like that, does there's nothing to do with the white ball really, is there? It does it all the way. He's doing it all for you, yes. And he, after saying that, and he misses that, you just wouldn't expect it, would you? The shots he's got, and then missing uh, a ball like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, one of his good friends. Or yeah, any, Kev, or not any longer. Kev Holland it is. Yeah. Kev's in that yeah. only thing he tells about 40. <laughs> With that hairline. Well, Alf has developed the uh, one bad yellow there, Phil. Yeah. Don't no. know if the other one goes, passes that black, uh, passes the red. <laughs> they, they rarely say what hairline. <laughs> it's all deliberate, I'm sure. Just like myself. I have an afro if I let it grow. <laughs> Could maybe have a comb over, Phil. <laughs> You're supposed to be my mate. <laughs> Can't do that, it's ginger. <laughs> I think that yellow, um, well, I, I'm, I'm only assuming it does go, Daz. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking it does fill the way he's played. Well, it does double across back into the middle if he wants to take that on later on, but... I'm not sure what Alphonse like when he's doubling, if he uh, takes them on or not. No, but he wanted that to be uh, hitting the red fuller. He did, stay over the back. yes, it definitely. Too thin, and it's given that a great chance. <laughs> Lou Roberts says my dad had a ginger afro back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> I was only joking about the ginger bit. All right, and the afro as well then. <laughs> no, 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 Phil. <laughs> I have seen Phil with a, a curly perm though. <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> Good few years ago that was. Yeah, last summer when it does. Now he polishes it. <laughs> I'm not having that mills he used to have a, a, an afro. Very nice indeed. Choices again, that's what Matt always seems to leave himself. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's got choices again. Does he can just uh, run it through into the black to leave him on the uh, leave him on his last red, or he can uh, try and screw it. But let's just see how much distance he's got between the cushion. See what he chooses to do. No, he's gone onto the onto the black as I thought. So he opens up a two frame lead, does? Yes, yeah, he is. Good to see Matt Schofield still with us. Um, I don't know, Phil. He is? Yes, he is. He's, He's there, there yeah. With a pint yeah. in his hand. So that's always good to see. He doesn't wear glasses, does he, uh, Christine? Sorry? <laughs> Christine is the, the gobby one with the dodgy hair, they were easy to spot. So a rarity there does, a, a dry break? Yeah, we'd often, uh, we haven't had many of them, Phil. Not from these guys. Schofield will still be there. Matt Brayley is his hero. Well, there you go. Who's that from? Uh, Matt Holland. Uh, oh, Kev yeah, Holland. Kev Holland. Yeah, Matt yeah. Holland. Too many Matts in here today. Oh, there's how many? There must be about seven in the club. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, the yellow's there. Just watching that, the replay does watch this yellow go in. It's not in the pocket you think it should be. It's the same yellow, but it's off about four different balls and a different bag. Well, that's a lovely shot. Done well to get his white ball back out there. Yes. As we said there before, his white ball control is brilliant. Yep, it is. It is. He seems to be able to do exactly what he wants with it. Just watching it on the replay there. And when he can do that, does. Makes it a lot easier. Yeah. 
<laughs> Team and Q. <laughs> What's Chris, saying, no? Chris Dean is the greatest player in Rotsdale. Yes, he wears glasses. <laughs> yes, he stood near us. <laughs> he actually did uh, say to us earlier on, "Do you not know who I am?" <laughs> is that is? I think that's him, Phil. Is yes. <laughs> and we did oh, say, no, I to I "Why agree with should we?" <laughs> I totally agree. I only agree because he told us so. <laughs> Dad, stop talking about food. We have to talk about pool. Matt's on a tremendous clearance here. Come on, wow. Come on, I, I'm, I'm on a. Uh, no, I'm Paul, <laughs> Paul might want to save that one for when he's on stream. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to. Uh, no, I don't remember him. I'm, I'm too far too young to remember. <laughs> remember him. <laughs> he ain't even the best player in his own house. <laughs> <laughs> Does he know he's getting this stick? Oh dear. He might, no, we're not. We're not actually streaming the chat. Oh no, <laughs> we are. We are. <laughs> Does he know? I hope he's got the support centre. What are you doing, Lammy? <laughs> I think I think Mr. Lamb's logging a call. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> All right. Did you want full stream, that? Does you hold the world record for that? And he lives on his own. <laughs> <laughs> what, and he still comes second? <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be well known in Rochdale. <laughs> yes, our fun there. So, we're going to swap over uh, commentary now for a while. We're yeah, going to. Yes. Put the C team back on. Yeah, the younger, the old apprentices are coming back. Good we'll luck. see you in a bit. Yeah, I uh, I have to say I um, he jumped out of his seat, did Matt to rack him up. He's going to knock the yellow. It's in. He's putted a ball off a break. Uh, bear with us a couple of seconds. It just takes us a little while to get settled in and get his headphones on. Two two ladies have brought pizzas in and sat behind us eating them, and they smell gorgeous. So. Uh, here we go, commentating on the main event. Yep, it's been a long time coming. It's uh, already a fantastic game. It's everything that we hoped it would be. Yeah, great standard. Yeah. So yeah. Really good finishes from Matt. I just saw him uh, miss that ball in the last frame. He realised he is human. <laughs> yeah. We don't call him a robot for nothing. Um, two great players. I, you know, when, when Matt went two frames... Uh, clear I was quite surprised that uh, there was two frames daylight between them I can just see he was going all the way yeah I, I was just talking to the guys in, in the crowd in, in the audience there and they're 
you know, most people are thinking no, there's not going to be more than two or three frames in this. Really. No. They don't think. You know. Buckle yourselves in for a late night. And a very, very uh, a very entertaining late night. Absolutely, yeah. They're uh, they're looking forward to it. I've just been speaking to Mr. Mellin. He was. Uh, He's saying that our fan needs to get rid of that brake cue. He's never played with it before. It's the first time he's picked it up tonight. He's borrowed it off somebody. Oh, really? No. Um, yeah, he's not been braking very well, has he, actually? No, he's been flirting with the middle bag every time. Um. <laughs> Yeah, so we just had a, a, a compliment there. Well, won't name any names, but uh, I think the word Muppet got mentioned about uh, our uh, predecessors. Co commentators, yeah. Yes. No, I, I can't say it was Jack Ashcroft. Um, uh, no, no, no names. No names will no be names mentioned, mentioned, Jack. No, no Jack, no. we won't mention your name, pal. Never. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a. Uh, let's just let's just get. A, I think we've got a, a, a Manchester posse on the old chat here. Yeah, we have. Can we get some Yorkshiremen on the chat, please? What's going on here? It's all red rose stuff. I can't understand the word we're saying. But to be fair, they're two 0 down in the War of the Roses today. Yeah, absolutely, it's a little bit unfair since the first two were both Yorkshire players. But no, he plays for Greater Manchester. Does uh, Mr. Scott, uh, Mr. Prescott? Does he? He does. <laughs> 2-0 to the Yorkies. Happy days. You'd be a brave man to bet on 3-0 though with the way Matt Real is playing. Absolute class player. And the real... Oh dear. Speak and, up, chocolate lips. And the real... <laughs> <laughs> Mr Green's silly. <laughs> real gent as well. I can't even begin to tell you what's just happened in the commentary booth. <laughs> Dear me. <laughs> so you probably heard me when I did my roving report a bit I had a quick chat with Chris Melling and um, I don't know if he did it deliberately or not but he mentioned Craig Waddingham's name so uh, that might have set a few hairs running I just said I said are you getting itchy uh, itchy for a game Chris and he went oh, you know he said I might fancy a game one day he loves his venue um, yeah he, he loves it he said you'd have to make the pockets tighter <laughs> I said it's just a new cloth. He said, "Ah, oh, that explains it." Yeah. But um, yeah, finding an opponent for Chris will be a, a, a task in its uh, in its own right, really. Anyone out there fancy taking on Chris Melling? It's gone quiet. <laughs> Kev Holland said he's never been in a posse before. It reminds me a bit of a f the uh, the famous Phoenix Night sketch when the uh, the Yorkshire and Lancashire cowboys are uh, they're having a, 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 a like a Mexican standoff, right? And the ah, oh, it's boring. No, forget it. Yeah. I'll tell you about the um, the Simon Vaughan story. Yes, I was I was gonna just about remind you on that. So go for it, man. Go for it. Well, a guy called Simon Vaughan who plays in our uh, Works Pool Championships is from uh, down in the southeast. And he was doing the karaoke. Uh, we have a big karaoke night on a Friday night. Everybody goes to it. And he's, he's singing a song, and I can't remember the song, but the lyrics are, you can kick your shoes off. I don't know if it's Leave Your Hat On by Tom Jones. I don't yeah. know if it's part of that. So anyway, as he's done it, he's gone to do a big kick, but his shoe has actually <laughs> flown off. Now, that's funny in itself, but I did feel a little bit sorry for the guy in the turban <laughs> when his shoe has knocked his turban off. <laughs> That's the funniest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> he took it in good spirits, to be fair, did the, did the fella, you know, it was uh, <laughs> I mean, it was complete accident, obviously, but it's just, just funny as anything. That's my funny story for the night, anyway. Yeah, thanks for that. I suppose you had to be there. Yeah. I think I'm, I think I'm in a midlife crisis, Mark. Really? I, I think I'm announcing it right here now on the internet, yeah. You are in a midlife, midlife crisis. crisis. You're not buying a sports car, are you? <laughs> no. No, I, I wish I could afford to buy a sports car. Any car, dude. 
I've been out buying cars today. Had to get get the wife a new car before I came here. So, well, as you do, first one we saw. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that'll do. And, and what is it? Oh, it's not a new new car, but it's a Vauxhall Corsa SXI or something. All right. Um, she likes it. That's it. End of. Deliberate foul there from our fan. A uh, good one. Not left Matt with a lot. Red's definitely the favourite here, even though Matt has two shots. And of course, the two shots do carry. We're back to world rules. Yep. Mr. Green has, uh, has said um, Waddingham Melling will be a great match. I can't see that match ever coming off. Uh, Waddingham won't play, Craig won't play Jack Whelan. Um, Jack Whelan and Melling might be a, an option. Yeah, if any of Jack's people are out there, or Craig's for that matter, and they fancy it, please give us a shout. Yeah. Yes, uh, I think we'd have to um, bring in some stadium like seating and Word. try and knock the roof out. And We've got a venue that's fitting of uh, such a prestigious game. Yep. Yeah, Matt's done well there. He's, he's used his two shots intelligently. I still think Red's the favourite here. I would say that I fancy another DF from our fan, but it, it might be a little bit tricky not to leave the, uh, the foul snooker, so uh, that might not be forthcoming just yet. I've had a missed call off Cy Phillips. Oh. Is he fancy playing Melly? <laughs> not, not just now, it was a little bit earlier. <laughs> um, I know Matt Briley was, uh, yeah, he's played a was asking after Cy. All right, okay. Said he thought Cy might have fancied a little... A little nibble. He uh, he's certainly seen the the games that he's played on the stream, and he, he yeah. fully respects Simon and thinks it would be a good game. And yeah, to be fair, for would. anybody to call Sai out after watching the money matches he's played on here, it's uh, fair play to him because he's up there with the best that I've seen. The money, money matches is so solid. I, I think I would probably make Matt favourite. Apologies there, Simon. Um, that's what that's what Sai likes, though, isn't it? He likes yeah, that oh challenge. Yeah, yeah he does. And like, well, I said earlier that I've, the way that he plays, I've got a bit of a man crush on him when he plays pool, so um, I'm certainly not going to do him any uh, disservice. You're not doing him any damage. So that's, uh, that's a good shot from Matt. All the yellows now in the open and potable. He's yeah. asking the question of our fan here, really. He's, he's going to yeah. see what he can do. Yeah, well, half on asked the question of Matt, really, there. And I sorry, think Matt's sorry. About to, yeah, I think Matt's yeah. about to answer it, because uh, if you wanted to say it, the only tricky thing is a black doesn't go in any of the bottom bags, but I don't think that'll bother him in the slightest. He'll just right, take yeah. it to one of the middles. Well, he goes in that bottom bag now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, both players are uh, a class apart, really enjoying watching this. It's uh, it's good to see how his, his pull brain works, Matt, because you kind of think, where's he going here? And then he, he plays the shot and you think, Jesus, obviously, <laughs> you know. Yeah. He, 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 he's not such the standard, really. But. So this is a culmination of a great day's play, a long day's play. Saw Daniel Knight win the uh, the curtain raiser. Uh, Lloyd Freeman really bossed the uh, undercard. And this is the main event of the evening and it's proving to be sensational. You see Lloyd play so well in the undercard and you think, well, how can you top that really? And then these two guys come along and just different gravy it is the next level you know you can just it's just 
I do. That's you know, the not level. The best shot. No, it's all right. It's, like, it's perfect. That's why he cleared the red from that bag. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is it is kind of the next level up. It is. It's definitely. It's definitely um, good viewing. Monster finish for you, 88 viewers out there that have tuned in. It's good to good to have you on board. So half, I just can't get level. I think if he could drag himself level, that's when he'd be looking to kick on. But every time he gets within one, uh, Matt manages to move up a gear and get that a uh, little bit of clear air between them. Yeah, he, he went he went into the lead early doors, didn't he? Half on two, was it two nil, two one? Yep, yep. And uh, since then, struggled. Oh, Briars misses his on. I think that's another dry one, is it, Mark? Sorry, I was just ordering my drink, which is way more important than commentating on this match. Fact. 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 Yeah, it is another dry one. I think uh, Chris Melling might be having a word in our fans' shell, saying, ditch your break, you, pal. Because you can't believe in a kid bit in softer. chances like this. Just hit him a bit softer as well, you know, you don't, it's a new cloth, it, it goes. What's Briar's missus called? Briar's missus, uh, welcome to the a chat. Don't start spending the money just yet. <laughs> She'll be sat behind the cushion, I would imagine. To be <laughs> fair, she's probably watching X Factor. The chat's been taken over by... Uh, the, uh, those people on the other side Is of the hills. Claire. It? It was Good evening, Claire. Suarez with Teeth and uh, Dave Green. Fighting it Batting for, uh, for the Yorkies. So Matt has... The Shamrock. Tip. Who's the Shamrock? That's Come on, Kev give Holland. us a name. Kev Holland. <laughs> <laughs> Neil, that's not very nice. <laughs> Don't be so baldest. You're only saying that because uh, you're a fellow Baldy. Full on Baldy. Very good shot there from Matt, very intelligent. Played it cushion first into the red. Never any danger of a yellow actually missing. But opened the bag right up. Not just for the yellow, but for the black as well, if he chooses to go that way. Very intelligent player, Matt. Yeah. Yeah, thinks it through. Very consistent. I'd, I'd go as far as to say that he's controlling the pace of the game. Um, and I think that that will frustrate our fan a little bit in time, if not now. Yep. Our fan likes to play at pace. <laughs> yeah, one, of, one of the finishes that he took out in the Premier Pool series was... I think it. I think it was less than a minute. Yeah, he was right. He, he, he was literally down on his shot, waiting for the cue ball to stop. Ronnie like, wasn't it? Yeah. Ronnie like. It's kind of get, it gets to such a such an extent that every mistake that he makes, he kind of um, have a little sharp intake of breath. Yeah. Because you're just not expecting it. But don't get me wrong, exactly the same with our fan. He's, he's, he's such a good player. Uh, he's he's made, he made a couple of mistakes when he, when he tried to cover the bag and he left he left it open for for Matt. He's made a couple of loose shots, but that's um, that's to be expected when you when you trying to get the pace of the table and it's it's new and yeah. you know it is a new cloth, so that so the balls will slide off the off the cushions yeah. you know a little bit different to Matt just controls the cue ball so well doesn't yeah. he it, it, does it, very it, little it never with seems it. to move more than three inches yeah he does little with it it's great to watch the uh, the chat in the in the uh, yeah. chat room is just it's it's, it's getting lewd lurid anything yeah. else beginning with L lovely Look at that. 
He never moves a cue ball more than three inches. But that's a sign of a great player. That's like, that's like what McHill does. If that's three inches to you, it's no wonder Leon's happy. <laughs> 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 another another great clearance there from Matt. Well, let's see what our fans got here because uh, free frame lead. But it's been sensational standard so far. Very good. I think we need to open up a new chat room for these guys. I know, yeah. Who's Latika Chick? Latika Chick? Who's that? Latik, I don't know. We've got two leaders on. It's like it's an Oldham, an Oldham fan. So Matt's a break. Yeah, he's, he's getting a better of a break. He's getting balls, getting a decent split. Our fans are struggling with a break. Yeah, that red and yellow have just tied up, tied yeah. up together next to the black. He'd yeah. be looking at a way to develop that early doors. I think he, if I hadn't have happened he'd have gone red straight away man. I think he'll still go red so he'll yeah. probably play the one up the rail on the on the cushion try and leave an angle on the red that's closest to the corner bag to try and get down and get into it but so there we go let's see uh, if he tries to hold he just wants to be bottom side you might have to screw into it now as opposed to off the side cushion. But yeah, he's a bit straight. I, I don't think he'll be looking to disturb that red off the shot now, Mark. I think he might just try just and get on position. The, yeah. the one just above the black. Uh, yeah. And leave an angle on that too. Yeah, he's no fear with the plant. The yellow's not going towards the, uh, the pocket, so no problem there. Well, I, I thought we were—I thought we were at a full house, but people still keep coming through the doors. It's getting busier. It is, and it's not the business end of the match. So when we, when we get to the business end, it will be um, buzzing. Yeah, it got—it got very noisy during the uh, the game between uh, Lloyd and Matt. Look uh, at the angle he's left there. Yeah, fantastic. It almost guarantees him to be on the red above the black if. Yeah, he'll, he'll hit the red, he'll hit the black. He'll be very unlucky not to be on the ball here. He might even play to screw into the black, you know, to leave the red into the middle. Let's see how he likes it. Big shot, frame ball almost. Beautiful. Well, work to do, Mark. Work to do. It's not it's the only pot that he's got is a red to the middle, um, but that's not affording him great shape. If he leaves an angle though, uh, on the red closest to the black spot, then he could go into the red and yellow. Work to do. The lengths asked the question on the chat. If Matt gets five or six in front, do you reckon our fan has what it takes to to pull it back? It, it, I mean, yep. Uh, yeah, he has. He's got. He's certainly got the ability um, of running four or five racks in, in a very short space of time. Uh, that's why. He's, that's why he's playing a game of this magnitude because yeah. he has got that ability. Absolutely. That's a great angle to, to play the shot that I suggested. Joe Mack, sick of these ads. If you download a programme called Adfender, no, no break. Spell it, spell it. A-D-F-E-N-D-E-R. Download that, pal, and you will be ad-free. It's free of charge. Yeah, that's why I was just saying. Just said. He's a nice little cannon on the yellow, not too hard. Oh, now then. Ooh, does it goes, you know. Well, if a call from his, uh, yeah, his fans is I'm anything so sure. to go by, I'm not so sure. Mark. I'm not so sure. I'm looking directly behind it, and uh, I think it. 
it's one of them that he might get the bag, but it's a difficult one. Yeah, well, he can hit the far from, knuckle. From that camera angle, it looks easier than it does from our uh, our main camera angle. Uh, it, it certainly doesn't go. He, he, he could play for the knuckle, but he runs the risk of not hitting a cushion because he can't hit it yeah, hard. It's got, you've got to let... You've got to play absolutely pocket pace here for it to drop. Yeah. Now then, chances. Not very easy ones, but yeah, chances. <laughs> no, not all, but... He's got to set this one into the middle, drop the other one in the middle uh, to leave the angle to play the one into the corner to develop the yellow near the cushion. Say that again. He's got to drop the yellow that is nearest into the middle to drop the other yellow into the opposite middle to leave an angle to play the yellow into the corner to develop the yellow off the cushion. So if you, if you stuck with me there, you've done well. <laughs> He's not doing that. <laughs> He's going to go up and down. Oh, good shot. Well, they play safe now, I think. Yeah, I think he'll play a containing shot here, just pump the yellow out. Mind you, for a player of Matt's ability, he leaves an easy up and down, doesn't he, Mark? I think he'll, he'll play the double kiss off the yellow on the top cushion to, for the white to fall behind the other yellow. Well, I thought he was going to try and send the white the other side, but I suppose yeah. the DF. But yeah, Matt, he's Matt tapped a table, you know, good to see that respect between the players. So you would suggest our fan big favourite here to bring this back to 7-5, but the way Matt's playing, he's, he's jacking up. Is he swerving around the left-hand side of the yellow? He is, there? yeah. Wow. I'll tell you why he's doing that, because he'll... Oh, no, he did it. Oh, he hit the red. He hit it. It's a great shot. Great shot just to hit it. I, I thought he was going around the other side of the... Uh, the the yellow. Yeah, no, the way the way you were queuing that, it did look like that. Yeah, it did. Kind of queued across the white, didn't you? Yeah. Good shot, though. He just caught enough of the red. Uh, he's still not managed to quite cover that bag, though. He's only just grazed it. He can he can try and stun the white across the table here to to leave the angle. When he plays that yellow into the off, into the corner at the bottom left, as we look at it on the screen, try and keep that yellow out. And he's not got it. Unless he opens is the bag. He he's not playing a double, is he? Man? No, he's going to play. I think he's going to play to open the bag here with the yellow. Ooh. Play the yellow off the bottom, cushion off the bottom of the red. Open it up. Big shot. Big shot. Oh, he is playing the double. Nice. Change his mind. Oh, that's a, that's, that's not a dinner shot. And it's a foul sneaker as well. Possibly. Yeah, it's tight. Yes! Come on! He's conceded the frame. Wow. It must have been a foul sneaker. Yeah, then. it must have been a foul sneaker. So 8-4. It's a strange concession, that Mark. Even with a foul he's, he's, he's liable for him. He's, he's, uh, he has a track record of doing it, doesn't he? In the yeah. pool series, and we've seen him before. He, he'll uh, he'll chuck them in. But yeah, even with a foul he could have rattled the yellow. He could have... Yeah. I mean, the likely chances are he wouldn't have done, but... Looking at the situation, it wasn't... Okay, I mean, yeah, like you say, probably... 97 times out of 100, Matt really clears up without a problem there, but you just never know. If you're a backer, are you happy with that? Not at all. No. <laughs> in the slightest. 
Is that uh, another dry break? Lou Roberts. Uh, yeah, what happened there, mate, is he gave two shots away. It was a foul snooker, and he conceded the frame. And he's broke dry again. And another dry break. So he's... Uh, if he is going to get back into this game, he needs to start putting balls. Definitely. Chris Melling says he needs to get rid of a break cue. I don't know if he's actually said it to half on yet. Uh, I think he tried to try to, but I think he don't want it. I think he told him before the start to be fair. What I will say is there is a player in this room that said that Matt would absolutely batter off. Um, I personally I thought it'd be a lot closer, but he does need to start potting balls on breaks. Yeah, I still think there's uh, there's a couple of twists and turns to go yet in this match. Oh, and there's one, maybe. <laughs> uh, Stefan said, I told you, if our fan goes behind... It will be hard. You also what Matt did to me. Must have been an imposter on uh, Stefan's uh, Facebook then, who says uh, half on to win by a few. Boom. He's, he's probably backed. Probably backed half on for a few quid. Yeah, Arfan just needs to uh, settle into his game now, play like he knows he can. I think he's got the pace of the table now. Yeah. Um, you know, I think early on, a couple of frames he lost because he, he maybe... I know he was going to come down yesterday afternoon and practice, but I don't think he did. Um, and where Matt, he came over, did Matt, he was here for a couple of hours, had a practice, albeit not on on this table, he, he had about 20 minutes half hour on this table because right. um, Dan was already in practising he won't be massively concerned by 84 obviously, he'd rather yeah. be 84 up and down of but course, still a long way to go yeah. and it's, and it's going to be swings and roundabouts it's too good a player not to have a little run of two or three frames at some point you'd like to think oh, absolutely Massive part of the game, though, the break, isn't it, you know? Yeah, yeah. You, at, at this standard, you know, break. at this standard, it does make a huge difference. I think if you just took a little a little bit of pace off the break, it'd help him. The balls are splitting. It's not that the balls aren't splitting, but oh, that's uh, a long way out. That, that is a long way out. Wow. He's just feeling it a bit, I think. kind of wondered how Matt would play if put under pressure um, well he's answered it I yeah. think he's answered that because he was under pressure earlier on yeah when it was 2-0 down yeah uh, he's, and, and actually that's when he came out with some of the best clearances we've, we've seen on the stream to be yeah. fair and our fans not responding well to, to being put under pressure himself now there's 86 now wrong with the two ladies cuddling Kev Kev, if you've got um, an address, we'll get down, we'll stream that as well. Gladly. So long as we can make a DVD. A DVD, a DVD. Our fan can borrow Dave Shan's break cue. That must be, a, that must be an in-house joke. I had a, a long chat with uh, with Andy Hall earlier today, who also plays uh, Greater Manchester Pool, very yep. good player himself. And uh, he's he, looking he, for a game. Isn't he? he was saying that um, he says Matt can really, really get in your mind and get in your head, um, as maybe happened with Stefan. I don't know if that's the case, or if Stefan can answer that. Oh, now he's then. human. He is human now, then. Arfan absolutely has to capitalise on this, I think. Mean. 
I think this is the f well, it's the first frame since we've been commentating where both players have made an error. Yeah. Now oh, then, Gabby. Let's see what we have. Ricky will try and disturb a block off the uh, the next red. Looks like he's left the angle. I don't think he will. Well, he's not the kind of player to do that. He, he doesn't take unnecessary risks. He'll be confident in putting it down the rail. He's not been putting well though, has he? That's uh, that's the reason I asked. You know, I suppose I suppose he's guaranteed to be on the red, really. Yeah, but that's he, he might do it, but but he's not guaranteed to make it in a, in a better position. Let's Look, see. Looks like he's queuing. No. Uh, he, Ah, right, OK. Um, Dave smashed his cue into a million pieces at Interleague and then managed to, to dish, the, dish the balls or something. <laughs> Another player that's been after a game on the stream is Dave. We've got a few guys from over there. Dave, uh, JJ4, Paul Tickle. Yep. Is it Tickle or Tinkle? Tickle. <laughs> tinkle. <laughs> tickle, you Tinkle. Thank he's, you, Doc. He's left the wrong angle there, hasn't he? The wonderful Charlotte has come over with the drinks. Find it difficult to believe that she, she's Gary's daughter. I want to know what the milkman looks like. Only joking. I Gary. was, was going to say. Oh, well, he ain't going to pot it from there, is he? Well, well, well. What was that all about? Uh, Stefan's arranged Dave a game at the end of May. Who's that with then, uh, Steph? <laughs> well, our fan is not at the races yet. Well, you can't see anything other than uh, Matt winning. Do you think he'll just push, nudge your black out and leave a double? Uh, two shots. You, you might try and go off two cushions here. Oh, no. Well, clever shot. Just play the other off the cushion. Yeah. Waste the shot. Um, I think he'll turn the double on here, Mark. It's just a, it's an unnecessary a risk. If he hits a knuckle and it goes up or down the cushion, it could be. Not at any pace. I, I think it's more of an unnecessary risk to just try and nudge it out, to be honest with you. Yeah, well, he's played that well. He, I do believe he's gone for it off the off below the bag. Come on, son. Yeah, looking like nine. Very nine well, in. nine four, half on us to find an answer very quickly. He does. <laughs> Stefan, you, you, it's like you're talking in a different language to me. I'm either being very, very simple and not getting it. Dave Shand, we talked about it, £500 a man minimum. Yet, yeah, who against? I've arranged Dave a game, end of May, Lammy, at 147. Dave Shand. We talked about it for 500 man a minute. Is that you against Dave Shun? Or is it somebody else? We will get to the bottom of this drama very shortly. Meanwhile, 9 4, Mr. Briley to break. He's gone enough. Ah, Stefan against Dave. I'm with you now. Are we at a critical point yet, Mark, where our fan absolutely has to get these? I think um, 
It's a real test of our, fan, our fans' temperament now. That's a good shot. Very good shot. I think you sort of, I mean, I, I am completely neutral, even though I'm a Yorkshireman, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty neutral on this. Um, but I really want to see Arfan take these out for the good of the game. Yeah, I think, if I'm being honest, I think Arfan's struggling to know how to beat him. I think he's tried to, to out-pot him and he's coming up short. He's... There's massive pressure on his clearance attempts that he's going for. Like there, he's just not quite had the run. Um, he's not he's not got the better any of the tactical frames, the messy frames yet. I think he's just trying to find a bit of form. Can you um, can you see the body language from where you are? Or? I can't, there's that many people in front uh, of me, mate. Right, so just bear with us a second. I'm, uh, I'm standing up. Health and safety would go mad if they could see me right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, he's looking a little bit um, dejected, would be the word I'd use. <laughs> Dental Dino says this isn't our fun. Well, money not. matches do funny things to you, yeah, yeah. and you know, himself hasn't played many money matches at this. He's, he's had his, his fair share of nine balls, but he's uh, played a good shot there. Oh, that's unlucky! Unlucky. Just needed the kiss off the red to either knock the yellow in or leave it over the bag. Yeah, and, and you look at this table now, and you, you don't see a clearance on, so. I think that might. <laughs> yeah, I think Stefan's called it there. He's saying he knows our fun and he's great when he's a front runner, but he struggles when he's when he's behind. And you know, I, I think you, you see that. Um, <laughs> the Shamrock says, "What about Paul?" Um, but yeah, I think uh, I think yeah, you can, you can see that. I think he he can let it get to him a little bit. If the if the pace of the game isn't quite at the pace that he likes, he yeah, he's ruffled a bit. But you know, just all it takes is one monster finish or something like that, and he can be right back on it. But it needs to come pretty soon. I'm not bothered, Mark. If we're here till the, the wee small hours, I just want to see a great game of pool. I'd love to see it go twenty all. Well, he's, he's tried it. Has he left a chance? If the yellow passes the black to the plant. Oh, oh, oh I think the yellow might go into the middle. The middle. He? Yeah, yellow he does, yeah. He does indeed. It's a good shot. Neil D. Hamer has said, the only way to beat Matt is keep him off the table. For such a nice bloke, he's ruthless on the table. Now, that's weird, Neil, because... I think you've almost exactly uh, paraphrased what Andy Hall says to me. He says exactly the same thing. Really nice bloke, but on the table, he's not a nice man at all. Oh, I found it's just, just landed on the wrong side. Another couple of rolls and he's perfect, but... That's a great effort, is that? Oh, that's so unlucky. That really was a good effort. Eh? <coughs> yeah, it's all in this plant now. It's all on this plant, whether he gets the position. Well, red, red to the centre, surely, first. Yep, and then try and leave himself on it. Yeah. <laughs> Players saying I that he won't even let his son win. I presume, yeah. 
All right, so he's... He's a very nice, quiet man, isn't he? Very unassuming, and sometimes you think, can he really be so ruthless on the table? But but you don't have to be loud to be good at pull, do you? No, no, he's, of um, not. You know, I, I think it's just... It's, it, it, he's a bit... I know you've got a man crush with old Cy Phillips, but he's very much <laughs> like that in and around the table, isn't he? I'm not. I'm not comparing ability. I'm comparing composure, control, composure wise, face yeah. never changes. Gets up, gets on with it. Similar sort of pace around the table. Regardless, he, he takes his time. He works it out. I don't think he has the same sort of bullishness. He doesn't walk around with his sort of his chest stuck out. And, but but yeah, I, I, I get what you're saying. Never look. He never looks phased, mind you. Well, He's been 2 0 down, I suppose. He just played a great pace. <laughs> Don't give him a Guinness. We'll tell our fan he'll be going oh, to buy him a Guinness. There you go, yeah. Good beat. I found the same, but he's a very unassuming chap, isn't he? He's, he's a quiet lad, um, very respectful of his opponent. But normally on the table, he's very ruthless. When he won the uh, Premier League Series, people, won. He? bullies people. Oh, yeah. He, he just he, absolutely, he, absolutely, he don't give them a chance to think. Took people apart. We've, we've had some fantastic finals in, in that. Yeah. Series, aren't they? Oh, I mean, yeah. The last one um, between Lunny and uh, Lloyd. Yeah. Five out of seven break dishes, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Lunny really had to play. He's here tonight as well. He's watching. Yeah. I think he's got a few yes. a few quid on. Oh, he had a few quid on Lloyd, I think, earlier on. Don't know whether he's got a bet in this one. Well, we've got a bit of a lammy loving on the chat. All well, the lammy on your. Uh, thank you, Dental Dino. Yes. Beat Eamon Hennigan in the final of the singles. Uh, now then. He's all right there. He can nip it in. He can nip it. You can just see that the white's just slightly below the black, so he'll, he should be able to get to that. If we have a look at the other angle, it might it might give us a better, a better view. I don't know that we're going to get time to can't even get the cursor onto the screen to show you. So, <laughs> oh. yeah, he's all right there. Absolutely fine. Even when he runs out of position, he seems to get it back. Then the very next shot, doesn't he? Yeah. He, he plays into the. Uh, into the V as such, um, so he'll go for the for the for the largest part of the table where he's got position, as opposed to trying to get pinpoint accuracy. It's uh, well, that's, that's important. Not that's the best shot he'll yeah. play, but come and take his curse. <laughs> yeah, you, you still got a fancy him here, Mark. Yeah, the way he's potting balls, it's. Uh, You'd still be putting your money on 10 4 here. I mean, if he misses, he's, he's not Roger, five. over and out. I well, tell you what, you're good, you are you? Uh, honestly. <laughs> 10 4, but it could be 9 5. I think we, uh, we I'm might just have to let. suggesting that there's a bit of, bit of tension on I the know, show. I know, I know. What you're, you're obviously tense with some of the smells that are emanating from your um, rear end. I don't know what you mean. I think it's them pizzas. Yeah. Pizza's behind me. Yeah. So. He's going. He's going for the blind pocket. Oh, if it goes in, this is uh, this puts him under an immense amount of pressure. Half on. He's missed up. It's in. Yeah. That was the pace that got that in. The fact that it just fell in is like a dagger to the heart for us. Yeah, it just it just adds. Uh, 
It adds a little bit of... Um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's because I'm looking for somebody at the same time. Yeah, it, it just twists the knife as it, it's the knife's in, and that just a little bit of a twist just to to rub it in a bit, isn't it? So we're uh, sorry about that, guys. We were just having a little chat. We will be swapping back shortly, and uh, Dull and Duller will be returning to the stream. But don't have no fear. We will be back. It won't be a long-term thing. Well, the yellows after yet another dry break from our fan. Eight ball wall, as just said, the bags are mahoosive. This is a, is this a nine ball table? Um, I, I tell you what it is, mate. It's it is purely down to the fact that uh, it's got a brand new cloth on. So it's they're sliding a little bit, which makes it, you know, it certainly makes the bags bigger. Uh, but it's a, it's the same for both players. Yeah, well, there's nothing wrong with that pocket, uh, Stefan. It's just just as Lavi uh, described. Uh, it's a, it's a new get slate. It in the knuckles and it'll drop. It's a new slate, Steph. It's it's the same in every corner bag. If you if you if you just catch it, if it catches the inside of the knuckle, it's going in. It it's brand new cloth, and as as players know, if you get a new cloth, you get, look at the position shot on that. A lot of players have tried to develop that, won't they? Yeah. And, and run into it. Um, but yeah, as as you know, new cloth. It, it this slide. Which is why you probably don't see as many double attempts. Oh, it's all right. He's got the yellow into the middle. Um, doubles because y your natural angle, it's, it doesn't work, does it? Because And of course, we've got an announcement at some point uh, during this match. I'm not sure whether they're going to have an interval, so we'll, we'll try and find out if they have got an interval. Uh, Daz is going to have a little word. Um, and then uh, we'll announce the 12th of July, the details. Well, a little bit surprised he's taking this, queuing over the red, but... <laughs> Makes it look easy. Me, you, and the majority of pub league players, uh, they'd be a little bit. Would have gone the other way, wouldn't we? Yeah. But that's why he's playing for four grand. That's why he, captained, he captained the uh, interleague champions this uh, this year, just recently at Yarmouth, didn't he? Norman's elite. I think, yeah, Norman's elite. I think their I think their actual captain had to go back home, didn't he? I think yeah, he's got Steve Mills, isn't it? Who I spoke to earlier. Right. Um, he, Quite he possibly. Had to go home, uh, unfortunately, for some some emergency. I think. Yeah. Eleven four. Hopefully that all worked out okay. Daz actually had a sprint on then. He had a sprint on. Well. Yeah, the mat's flying, so I didn't bother about a break, so I don't know what we're going to do. When are we going to announce it? Yes, 
At the end of this room, we'll announce the details for the 12th of July. It's almost gone quiet, as if even the people in the room are waiting. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think people are a little bit stunned here. They expected it to be a very, very close game, and as did we. Um, but Matt is, I, I mean, it, it, there's, there's never been a more apt nickname, I don't think. He is a robot, he's a machine. be interesting here if, if, he, if he nominates Red and just plays a nice little safety to tuck up, or whether he goes gay. The way he's playing, he probably wants to go game and, and bully our fan a little bit more. Yeah. Joe Mack says this is getting very familiar. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, yeah, I can see where you're coming from, Joe Mack, but I just cannot see that our fan will not pull something together here. It's too good not to. He's been, he's been in bad situations before and, and done well. I don't really get what. Well, he went for yellows. Matt, Matt was showboating a bit there. Yeah. So he is yellows. He's this is a good chance for our fan. It is. They're all there. Steph says he needs the next five. I think if he can get five out of seven, he'll be very happy, to be honest. Yep, I agree. Certainly three out of the next five. Four out of the next five, I think he'd snatch your hand off. And obviously all five would be uh, sensational. Well, he's got to rely on uh, on Matt breaking badly, really. Well, that was a little bit tentative. don't know if he's deliberately left that angle. I think he, I think he might have done, because I think when he pots the red, the yellow goes down towards the red above the black and, and maybe develops that. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Kamikaze Cam is on the chat. Uh, thought you were coming in, Cam. We had a Jaeger bomb yep, lined up for you. Eight o'clock, he said. He's obviously loved up. Yep. Well, there you go. It's all. I'm, uh, I'm here in the Rolling Stones. Under my phone. Not sure if it's touching or not. Yeah. Uh, he's got the. He's still got the red to the yeah, bottom left as uh, as we look at the screen. <laughs> or oh, has he? Yeah, yeah. Wow. He's getting down the queue for it. So. Oh, it's, oh, it's just fallen in, just as we said. Wow. Does the red above the black go into that corner? Well, I think he's going to play to, to sit on the yellow here, Mark, and take it in the middle. That's what he's done. Oh, stay out, yellow. Wow. That's what he's done, but he needs a little bit of... Uh, he's going to have to stun this and, and nip it in, I think. Yeah, he's dead straight on it, I think, Mark. This is tricky. Very tricky. You almost feel he's got to get this right, Mark, for his own sanity. I think, I think he just stuns it in and then nips it. He's got to cut the uh, red back into the other middle. Cut it back, but how's he getting on the black off that? Well, I think he ploughs into it. Into I'll tell it. you what, that's a great shot. Fantastic shot. I really hope that he, uh, that he makes it pay here. This will be a good shot to get on the black as well. Yeah. He's done right. could, he, could he play the red off the off the top of the yellow? Oof. Wow. He's, he's just flirting with the. Yeah. It's just not happening for him. Thank <laughs> you. 
Matt, Matt Schofield's just brought his handbag. Got him. Oh, and a jacket. <laughs> Come on, Brian. Yeah, he's got a free go at these, really, with the red B in there. He's, uh, he'll just bounce this off yeah. the cushion and, and snooker. Yeah, Matt's just turning the screw there. Peter Arundale has just said that uh, when our fans sat in his seat, his body language isn't good. Uh, he's uh, beating himself. Handing the game to Matt. Wow. Just chasing finishes and, and it's not going for him. Oh, hey, oh, that's a foul. It's just not happening for him, is it? Matt Briley's going to love coming here. <laughs> well, why wouldn't he? The stroll in the park. He might even play Melly. Behave. Rob Wilson. I don't think Rob would fancy it. He'd tell anybody who'd listen that he fancies it. And yeah. He'd say, when, when it comes to it, he won't play it. Yeah, his white ball is spot on. See how confident he is uh, off two cushions or whether he just plays with the other side. Check yeah. side, perfect. Wow, perfect. Chris Dyson's just walked in. Oh, yes, well, yeah, another concession. Another concession. I think we're going to uh, hand over to Daz and Phil uh, shortly, but just before they do, should we tell them about the 12th of July? Please do. Well, we've had a few people uh, ask about different kind of games, so on the 12th of July it's going to be open to the first 32 players to pay their deposit. It's going to be uh, £50 a man, £25 deposit required to secure your place. It's going to be the World Cup of Pool. You're going to get drawn into groups of four. So you're guaranteed three games for your 50 quid. It's going to be races to seven. And then it's uh, seeded. So the winner of group A will play a runner-up of group B. Uh, which will play out in a straight knockout. Minimum race to seven. Uh, I think it was 800 quid for the winner. 500 quid for the winner. I can't remember. The poster, the poster will be up on Facebook. Uh, by the end of the night. So there you go. Um, I'm just looking around for Daz and Phil. Daz is eating his pizza. Phil's disappeared. So there you go. 12th of July, World Cup of Bull, group stages, £50 a man, longer races. First 32 to put their names down and pay deposit will secure their place we fully expect it to sell out very very quickly uh, details will be on Facebook later just over hit that one Uh, Stefan straight in, he's going to bring the money tomorrow and uh, yes it's one day event it's a straight knockout, no double elimination obviously once you get through the group stages an open event, anybody can enter plenty of players been wanting the longer races and wanting to play the better players it's the way to improve yourself it's been unlucky there not to pack that um, Phil's here, Daz is ready, chomping at the bit as well as the pizza. So I am. Uh, I 
if any of the if any of the uh, Manchester lads fancy go at the old World Cup of Pool let us know I'm sure Matt might be interested Dave Shand a few of the guys in here tonight I'm just waiting for uh, one of them to pick up the mic to take over right thank you very much you've now got the A team back in true professionals are back Daz grab a seat so Stefan Swirst in for the uh, World Cup of Pool is he now so it's already been announced then it has where's Damien Cooper <laughs> he's running around with his money now <laughs> he's liked it <laughs> I'll be good, Daz. Tell me the equipment's working. All good, mate. All good. Good, good. good. Well, what can we say, Phil? Matt's a machine. <laughs> hey, listen. He's, uh, he's been awesome. He's again. Nick his nickname's a robot, and guess what? Oh, you're joking. What's that? Oh, Leanne. Hello, Leanne. Is that Leanne? Yeah. How can you say that? Is Scandalous. You just you just listened to that droning on for the last got, uh, has hour. She, has she got a bee in her house? Or a bee in what, her house. What's all them Z's about? <laughs> yeah. She's back with beer and pizza. The dream team are on the yeah. air. The proper team are on now. Yeah, the proper team are on. Dream uh, the the the, the, the uh, cream stream team. Yeah. The one that they, everyone aspires to. Not the dreamers. Yeah, the dreamers team. The stream dreamers. Don't go and do the ironing now, Liam. You've got to contribute on the chat. <laughs> well, it's a little far, Daz, but it's still on. Well, we've got another entry to the World Cup of Pool. Don't forget, guys, that uh, your deposit per, uh, guarantees your place. So the first 32 to play. Hey. Watching on a Google Nexus, who recommended that? Oh, I wonder who recommended is, that Is it film? good? Do you like it, Leon? Uh, that's the Google Nexus. Leon's watching on a Google Nexus. Yes. Well done. Nothing Is wrong with that. What's you'll the What's the ironing done? You'll not. You'll. Well, no. The fact. Oh yeah, probably. <laughs> you'll not regret the fact you bought the Nexus. Nice tablet, and I don't work for them. <laughs> Yeah, Greeny has been here since they started. We have had a break, but we have uh, we have been doing things in the background. Yeah! I'm, I'm really proud of Dave. Just yeah, he's, today, do, he's he? done well today. Yeah, he's, uh, some good contributions. Good contributions. Uh, he's our uh, viewer of the day. Yeah, yeah. The viewer of the day award. Viewer of the day award goes to Dave Green. Ah, they're, they're in it, Phil. They're just trying to sabotage us. <laughs> yeah, oh, no worries, Dave. <laughs> they couldn't have left the cursor in a worse place on the computer, does? Book it. I wondered why he was smiling at us. So, oh, ooh, the white. It's staying, it's hanging, Phil. Well, it's stopped now, <laughs> so it's going back up. Yes, Bree is the machine. He has been He has been a machine tonight, to be fair. Well, he was last can't, time. Can't fault the guy. He was last time. Uh, the length saying there's no way back for our fan. I, I, I've got to sort of maybe agree with you there. It's going to be, a, if he comes back from this, it'll be one of the biggest comebacks ever. I'm not to say the guy that I reckon to get ejected first is still here, Phil. And that's very quiet, actually, be that? behaving himself. This, this, uh, the guy that they all said we're going to get thrown out first. Is that Christine? That's the one he sees here. He's behaving. He's uh, yeah. Well, he was doing some wax and wax off earlier. He was doing some dad dancing. Then he was doing some kung fu or something. <laughs> well, it wasn't kung fu. I can tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> Like that robo pot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
got our roving reporter still in. I'm sure he can get a few opinions uh, after the next um, frame. That's a lovely shot from uh, Matt there. Perfect pace. Chris Melling next to me, so no doubt I'll uh, I'll grab him between I'm, frames. I'm sure you will, Paul. But what uh, about, be but careful, what about his comments, Just Paul? be careful where you grab him, that's all. <laughs> oh, I will let him go nowhere. <laughs> Liam, start getting worried. Yes, we're really on uh, Bucky's grabbing uh, Melling. <laughs> he is his hero. Yeah, trademark is in there, trademark it and sell it to Briers. Have we got a bib for Mr. Buck? <laughs> oh, where's that white going? That white's gone. Oh, wow. The white's gone. Wow. Well, he got, he got the middle back pot. So, our family uh, chance here, Phil. Yep. Needs to be taking these. Just Google Charlie Chuck. Actually, I, 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 we've got that many laptops here. I'm sure we can Google Charlie Chuck. Take one of those 17 offline for a minute, Daz. <laughs> I'm going to have a look at this now. There you go, Phil. <laughs> What's that? Charlie <laughs> Chuck. Still okay, he has the two. <laughs> Probably use one of his two to start with. Set it up. Well, can he can he get past well, that? I don't know, right? Phil. It's not. Uh, it's not. I don't know. You know, maybe he can do. Comes out nicely for the uh, other end into the centre if he can do. Let's have a look. Oh wow! What a That's shot! That's a great that shot was. from our fan. A great shot. Wow. Let's have a look at that on the replay. Well, about, about fifteen minutes, Phil, before we it, see it, that on the does, replay. Yes, it does. Yeah. yeah. Quite delayed today. Sorry guys, it is Saturday night, Daz, and the uh, the American sport is uh, huge this time of day. Oh, look at that though, Phil. Well, he went into it. I think he thought he was going to miss Has it. Has he still got two or? No. No. Well, he's played safe. Yeah. Big problem now. It's not just a case of hitting the yellows for Matt. He's got to get the white ball safe as well. This won't be easy. Could of course play the DF. Don't know too much about the value of that. Yeah, Greeny says yes, our fun about time, sir. Yeah, it's time to dig in our fun. Just 
Stefan saying Arfan's lost confidence. <laughs> Get the jump cue out, Briers. <laughs> Wow, well, just grazed, well, grazed by it, didn't actually touch it, but where it's been left, so this frame over. Yes, yeah, so we are passing over to Mr. Buck now, he's uh, out with his rover okay. and reporting Mike again. Thank you, Daz, I've just unashamedly uh, grabbed all the Chris Mellon again, because I'm told this kid knows a little bit about pool. Um, Chris, is it a little bit too early to say that might be a turning point? Well, I think it's a case of uh, Arpan's made a lot of unforced errors. And uh, Matt's played, he, he's played quite well. He's missed a lot of chances himself. But um, obviously he's just cleaning up off Arpan's mistakes and that's all you can ask, really. You know Arpan as well as anyone. You know about his state of mind. Will that, will that sort of jolt him back into um, the normal Arpan that we know and love? Well, I think he needs to win at least four out of the next five frames to have a chance. Um, if you look at his demeanour, his head is completely gone. When he breaks a break, he's breaking and the cue ball's hitting either side, pushing below the back. I mean, he, everything's completely wrong. Yeah, he's just shaking his head again off, a, off another dry break, but uh, let's hope we can get back into it because we all want to see quite a spectacle, don't we? Of course we do. I mean, our fans actually using a break cue of his friend Danny Hall. And I told yes, uh, after four frames, I, think uh, I said, don't use somebody else's break cue that you've never used. Use your own. You're now to break. You know, you've, you've done quite well for yourself. So why change? Um, but for some reason he won't listen to me and uh, he's doing what he wants to do. I'll always support him as my pal, but unfortunately this is going to be a, an hard lesson to learn. Well, let's hope he turns it around. Okay, well thanks for that, Chris, again. Back to uh, Daz and Phil in the commentary booth. Cheers, thanks a lot, Paul. Thanks, Chris. So there you go. Chris, Chris Mellon's opinion there. Yes, yes, always good to hear Good to see Chris in the, in the club. I'm just uh, taking that back, taking that pocket, does? Yes, he is, Phil. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't listen to the two-time world champ either. He says, <laughs> "Good, Kev." <laughs> Thank you. 
Two times world champion at Candy Crush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, they are there, Daz. Yeah, it's uh, pace has slowed down a little bit, Phil. Yeah, our fans having to do with that. Our fans having to do, yeah. He's looking at his plan B, he's digging in. the yellow I think he thought that went he didn't do <coughs> give him that another chance now if he can drop this into the centre yes he might uh, leave himself a nice angle to go down for, and he has yeah, done yeah he has left a lovely angle there just to get down this difficult ball he can deal with his bad ball now either into the bottom or into the middle just so consistent, Phil. Yes. So that's uh, you know the he way to describe him. Doesn't ever look to take a difficult shot, does he? No, just, oh, actually, just uh, I've just been talking to Jack Ashcroft and, uh, and Matty uh, Cartman, and Jack was saying he says um, when our fans win in his frames, it's looking hard. When Matt's winning his games, it just looks so easy. Yeah. Yep. You know, I, know. I think that sums it up really. I can't believe still people are still getting ads on theirs and they haven't, haven't downloaded Adfender. What what are we getting? Are we uh, losing bl bloody ad. <laughs> yeah, just get on, get yourself on to, well... Yeah. Yeah, get yourself onto download.com or even uh, just search Adfender from, on Google. Free, totally free, stops all the ads. Well, he's looked at that. Has he gone far enough? He may have done. That's looking good on and off the cushion if it is. Well, I think he's... Um, Although if he's too straight, it'll just be onto the cushion. And a thin cut back into the centre. Don't know, Mr Lamb's going to have a little squint. I think he's having a look there, see what it does. We'll soon see if he's got enough angle it'll be on and off the cushion as if it isn't it'll just be on to the cushion wow that's that's it he might just bit of swerve that round Phil whoa well he may be able to he didn't have to do much afterwards no that's, he that's the point if he uh, if he can just get it round and pop the ball he's, uh, he's on the black
It's, it's strange when you're looking at it on the screen because it's. You know, he's he's, having, he's, a go, he's having a go at what I said. Look at this now, guys. We've got a great view from this camera. Obviously, he has one of his uh, little toes <laughs> hanging onto the floor at the same time as he's doing that, does. But other than that, he's you completely see, on the table. Dan Knight, who played early, would have no problems whatsoever with that. Uh, he just has problems with the lights. Keeps banging his head. You can tell he's won a match today, by the way. He's looking a little bit worse for wear. Merry, of course, but... Yeah, slightly, yeah. Yeah, he's had another look. He's looking at... Uh, he's say, say, saying to himself, this is the only shot that's really on. He's done it. He's downloaded it. You have to Just wait for the updates, mate. When you install it, it'll do an update. It'll update with the latest lists. Give it a chance. And then, uh, then close your browser down completely. You must close your browser down. Then reopen it. And it'll be on. And there you go. But don't forget to close whatever browser you're using down after you've installed it. And reopen. Well, I finally got a chance again, Phil. Oh, how did he do that? Unbelievable. That's incredible, does to come between those two. Now then, Aris, good evening. Uh, Aris, good evening, guys. Just going from Leicester managed to qualify for the England B team at the World Championships. Oh, well yes, done, pal. Aris. Well done, pal. Get in there. Nice one. We knew he could. I he said, is. I did say, the way he's playing at the moment. He's a sly old dog, isn't he? That yeah. Fella? Hey. He's life in the old dog, yes. You what? Scores from earlier, please. Well, I like all that. Well done, Aris. Well done, Paul. Yeah, little, little Bucky there is uh, con con congratulating as well. Uh, scores from earlier, Aris. Uh, Nathan got beat by Dan. Um, 15. Uh, was it 15 11, I think. I think it was 11. Uh, it, um, it, it was a, a marathon. He um, it, it, it managed to last. Oh, how long did it last? Four and a half hours, rest to fifteen. Yeah, I think it took. I think it took an hour and uh, an hour and forty minutes for the first four frames. Yeah. Uh, and then Lloyd beat um, Matt Schofield. And um, what was the score for that, Paul? Matt Schofield, Lloyd, twenty-one ten to Lloyd. It was close, Harris, but uh, it wasn't the best game in the world. Nathan didn't play very well at all. Um, and uh, Lloyd played very well. So they're looking a little congested down that side of the table, or at the bottom end, shall we say. A yellow has gone in. But he's gone red. Yeah, a lot of congratulations for Harris. Absolutely well deserved. Yeah, Aris and Glad Lloyd uh, won. He'll do his confidence well to God. He played very confidently today, Aris. Um, started off slightly slow, a pair of them. Well, respect and, and a bit of nerves. Yeah, yeah, a little bit nerves, but um, quality game. Absolute quality game from Lloyd. Moved it up a gear, didn't he? Yeah, Matt struggled a little bit today, did uh, Matt Schofield? And he, you Good know, to see him still in the club, though. He's still with us. He's, he's, and he's, uh, he's, he wants a rematch as well, from what he said. Does he? Yes, he does. He wants to, uh, a okay. rematch. He said he can never, he can't play that bad again. Oh. Yes, well, I could, uh, I could eat a curry myself, Harris. Well, well send one <laughs> onto the one. No, send a few onto the one four seven, please, Harris. 
<laughs> Your choice. I don't mind. No, no. Actually, no, I'll have the rice. Daz will have the curries. Enjoy it, pal, anyway. We'll uh, speak to you. I'm sure we'll be here for a little while yet. Okay, guys, put all the equipment away. Dan Knight's walking over, and he looks bladded. Oh, dear. Dan looks in a little state. Good state. Are you in a good state, He's Dan? He's in a good place. Just stop, uh, stop playing with my nipples. Dear, <laughs> oh dear, can we say that? Yes, we're okay. It's ten past eleven. Yeah, there's a, about a safety going on now, yeah. and, uh, and there will be where the balls are lying this, in this frame. I think it is an, an, another important one for uh, for our fan. I think he has to win this one. You two get a room. There's a bit of man. I'd worry Leanne, there's a little bit, if uh, Leanne's still watching, there's a bit of man love going Le on here now. Leanne, our, rov our roving reporter's getting a little bit too close. With, with Dan and, uh, and Bucky, <laughs> a little bit of man love going on. Dan's always liked the moves. <laughs> Too much information. And well, we've uh, we're on the hundred and two, Matt. We, we we're over the hundred again now. As, as a C team, D team. Have you seen this now? Drab it's team or whatever they call now, Mr. Buck. Eighty six. <laughs> <laughs> because you've opened twenty seven browsers. Oh. Oh, um, the, the, DO, the DOCs. Director of Communications has been on the uh, he's been Facebook. He's been communicating, Daz. He's been communicating. <laughs> he can have him, Leanne says. He can have him. <laughs> I always told them there was a bit of man love going on, and she says he's welcome to you. <laughs> we did try and get the club cam on, but even that fell over. Is that is that Liam Eels on now? That is Liam, isn't it? I think Eels, so. Eels 96. Oh yeah, yeah, he's not 18 yet. Well, I think he's going for them, Daz. If he, if he can break these open now. Don't forget the red can go back in the middle off the black. Yes. The black makes the red a big a big pocket. 
We can always play the black. The black will move over to one of the other corner bags. Oh, you can even get this red out in here. So thinking about it, does taking the big pocket. That was a good shot there, Phil. Well, the cross doubles on if he fancies it. Does he need to though? Well, he's he having a look now. He doesn't where the reds are. He's quite safe to do it, isn't he? He's got the two bags at the bottom. Yeah, I thought he'd be taking the double on. No, he's overdone it. Oh, no, he hasn't. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, it, That's got to hurt, has that one? Did he play it like that? <laughs> no, I don't think he did, Phil. I'll tell you what. It's turned out nice. It has. It has. Just one good shot now, Phil. And uh, this. I know it's quite a long red, but really he should be getting this and for uh, for Matt's standard. A bit. Yeah, yeah. And uh, if he can stun this dead or even pull it back slightly, he's got the perfect angle. Beautiful. That's a great shot. Now just take the one over the bottom bag first, Phil. I would do now. I don't Come. know. It's whichever way he wants to take it, but I would do because I think I think he will. He's, he's on it now. He, he might as well take it. He's on it. He's just going to come back up the tail then, uh, and then all he has to do is drop it in the uh, top yeah. bag. The blacks are a given, isn't it? Yep. Whoa. He's all right. Yeah, but I wouldn't have done that. I've been taking the bottom one. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> Who am I, Daz? Who am I? But of course now he is hampered. He's got a hampered bridge. Yeah, a little bit, but uh, I still fancy him to. All he needs to do is drop it in, Phil. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I thought it'd be, I thought he'd bring, bring I, I, the white ball back up nearer the cushion. I did. I think he probably hit it a bit, uh, bit thinner than he wanted to. Well, maybe yeah, maybe a bit fuller does, and a, a thin, a thinner shot to brought uh, it up closer to the thicker, cushion. even. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know what you meant. Yeah, yeah I know and what you, I meant. And you really do, don't you? Yeah, it's been a long day. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, great shot. Beautiful recovery. Yeah, so 14 6. I think that's what they said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Italiano says the uh, Breeze is doing all right. The, 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 we all, we all <laughs> we've heard plenty about you tonight, mate. Don't you worry. <laughs> well, look at that for a break. That's a beauty. That's a lovely break. <laughs> We're all right. So this will give Arfan some confidence if he can get these uh, put away, does? It will fill. It will fill. It rhymes that. It will fill. It will fill. Yes. Great, That's a great shot. shot. That's the one. Addresses his bad balls early. That's what Arfan's all about. Looking good. I mean, we certainly know Arfan can handle the pressure. Oh, uh, yeah. Because he's done it, to, you know, so many times before. It's uh, by no means the first time he's been on the stream table. Oh no, no, and although he plays uh, nine ball these days predominantly, um, he handles pressure very, very well. Great temperament. Uh, 
I was going to say that Philander will probably be taking the one into the uh, top left hand corner as we look at it first yeah well he's um, he's left himself choices again and he's always he's always about that that's well done So 14-7. Nice and quick. Break dish and all, Phil. Break dish on there. Are we saying that... Uh, I don't know because the the drab team... Yeah, they've strap, been on earlier. I don't know. See, but that, but uh, looking, at, looking at the break uh, and run monitor... That's um, the first one. That's the first one. Oh, sorry, sorry Phil, we, uh, turn, you, I turned you off you there. You turned me off there, but uh, you've turned me back on. But, uh, <laughs> steady. <laughs> steady, steady. It's that done night. So Ash Rugby 18 said it's all over. Not too, not too sure about that one. Well, this is a huge game. 15-7. Yeah. Oh, 14 14-8. I suppose they all are at the minute. He needs to uh, do the usual that we uh, that we talk about. Does break it into smaller sections yeah. and just win those. Yeah, win the, you know. Break them to maybe threes, three, fives, three perhaps, fives. and try and win, you know, 2-1, two, 3-2 three, two sort of stuff. But to be honest, at 14, you can't afford too many ones in the other direction. No, no, you're right there, Phil. I hope that made sense, does. Cause ah, it did make sense to me. Because I've not been drinking Whether it made sense to uh, anybody else, I don't know. Oh, thank you, does. Yeah, I'm but sure it did. But you are the brother-in-law, so I, I expect support from yeah, you. Yeah, the support's there, mate. Ah, good. Yeah, Green is saying it's never over till the last ball's black ball is potted. He's de certainly right there, Dave. Thank it's you. never over till Dave goes to bed and he's still there. He's still there, he's still watching, he's still commenting. And Sharon's just brought me a packet of crisps to keep me going. Well, you need it, Daz. I certainly do. <laughs> <laughs> So the match time is roughly two hours and 40 minutes. To be honest, that's not too bad, Phil. It's, uh, yeah, we had a 
Yeah, we had a couple of a uh, couple of minutes hiccup at the beginning there, Daz. So yeah. it's, just, it's about two hour, two and three quarter hours for Kev, for twenty one games. Kev then it's not over until Steve Mills starts singing. Steve Mills has left the building. Uh, yeah, he's gone, the Steve. Yeah, he went about uh, whoa, three quarters of an hour ago. Half yeah, an hour, something like that. Yes. Whoa. Well, he was trying a fair bit with his white there, but um, nevertheless, that guy's human. What's that about? I have no idea, Phil. Did, 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 did he miss? Well, yes. Oh, dear. Matt Schofield just leaving there. Thank you. Good night. Safe journey home, mate. All I can hear is Twitch chatting shite. It's on about Andy Mitchell, I believe. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. That's a lovely shot. Do you know, I, I don't know how they're staying out, to be honest. That um, that looked to be good to go in, did that? But the it stopped. Pockets are a little bit tighter, maybe, Phil. Well, Lloyd did say that he thought the pockets were slightly tighter. Well, it's new everything, so maybe so. Matty Cortman knows uh, who the dream team is, does? Of course he does. Yeah, it's a dodgy time to Todman and they don't have street lights up there yet. I think it is it is it his brother, Des? Well, I don't mean Des as in that's his name, it's the designated driver. He's a taxi driver anyway, speaking to him earlier. He was well upset. He's been on coke all night. <laughs> Steph's asking who's talking rubbish at the bar well you can take a pick at that one <laughs> quite, well, quite there's, a, there's about four, four, 40, 50 <laughs> <laughs> including our roving reporter and every other word's Amstel right Well, this is not. Uh, this isn't easy, Daz, is it? How's he going to weave his magic to get around the back of that? Not easy at all. There's no easy double. I think the cross double's too tight. Is he going to try and disturb it? Try and get into it? Or is he trying to go uh, and get to the back of it? Oh, that's a lovely shot. Yes, beautiful. That was your answer, Phil, wasn't it? Pleasure Fantastic shot. Pleasure to watch. Well, that thing. So it's going to be 14 8. Come back, Song. With the break as well now. Let's see what we can do. Well, this is more like the half, haven't we? No. It is. Yeah, last couple of frames. Oh, he's lost the white ball. Not just that though, Daz, look where the, look where the split's gone. It's a yeah, beauty. It is, it is. Oh, 
Oh, there we go, look. Kev saying he's got a, a, a day pass from the wife. Matt did say he wanted to play here again. Yeah, as I said, he fancied uh, a rematch with Lloyd. It'd be good to see you. Oh, does it? Does he mean Matt Braley? Uh, Matt Braley. Sorry, I'm, I'm talking about Matt Schofield. He's on about Matt Braley. Who is who is Matt fancying next anyway? Are we? Oh, he's uh, he's, he's well, talking well, about the rematch there with was, Stefan. There was talk earlier about the rematch, mate. Yeah, so Matty takes the uh, reds. Yes, you can get to the uh, the, the left-hand side of the uh, of the red on top of the yellow there, and it goes in the opposite corner. Could it, could even do it off this one. Yeah, sorry, Kev. Just with us, just been talking about Matt Schofield leaving. Yeah, I mean, the problem is, as, as we've said earlier, there's about seven or eight mats in this uh, club tonight. There's one sat right behind us. <laughs> yeah. Cam seen a turning point, perhaps. Yeah, he's played safe there, does I think. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That, oh, gives him, that gives him the chance of getting his bad yellow out. I 
Yeah, he kept saying Matt's locking up the word pressure in his pocket dictionary. What's that, Dad? Sorry. Commentating, uh, we're getting heckled with 125 viewers. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> our viewers appreciate that less is more. That's what they say. The John Virgo School of Commentary. <laughs> We say, are we saying that red passes, guys? Is that, does that red pass? Does off, it? Off the knuckle. Here we go then. Well, it's either it's either well, in we'll, or we'll over. We'll down. see. It's in or over. We'll see. We'll see. It will depend on the pace he's taking it out to whether he's going for it or not. Well. I think the uh, the drab team are interested in uh, in claiming some uh, time back on the microphones. Yeah, maybe so. Cam saying uh, over and out for me. Good night. See you later, Paul. <laughs> so you mentioned Paul Buck coming Paul Buck coming back on the microphone and people leave. Good night, Cam. What's that? Oh, d don't let them back on, please. You see? <laughs> <laughs> it works both ways. Mr. Yeah, Hill. that's right. We all have <laughs> our favourites. <laughs> ah, it's in the contract. We've got to let him talk. He's the, he's the director of communications, after all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jack just saying he's at the bar with Luke that's Jack Ashcroft at the bar with Luke Meadmore who are playing in a two or three weeks time both enjoying pots some, increasing uh, every time we speak some shots together <laughs> What are we up to now? What is it up to the pot? Two, two and a half grand pot at the moment. Two and a half grand of Jaeger bombs. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and dull and duller aren't any ones. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Yeah, he's got 
Doesn't she? Yeah, love, doesn't, doesn't she love him? Oh that no! Love, oh, do you know that's lovely. The Paul Book fan step, club. Step straight in, defending her. Uh, boo. 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 Well, that's a good shot. That's a great shot. Oh, yes, that's a great shot. Absolute great shot. So, we're looking 15-8. Yes, uh, Leanne saying so somebody's got to love him. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll pass you back to the uh, C team. Yep. We'll the be back with you uh, maybe at the end. The drab team are back. All right, here we go. Professionals back in the commentary box. Oh, yes. Uh, crap band whiz. So, the story so far. Wow. Uh, earlier on, we had Dan Knight against Nathan Prescott. Dan Knight won 15-11 in what could only be described as an excruciatingly painful <laughs> match. From uh, And I'm sure they'll both agree. Uh, that was followed by Lloyd Freeman against Matt Schofield. Lloyd... Played very well indeed, very well indeed. Matt never really got going. Um, 21 10. 10. Yep. Uh, Matt Brayley looked like he was going to run away, run away with this at one stage, but our fans fighting, and he's he's. Paul was just alluding to it when we were talking whilst uh, Dull and Duller were commentating. Um, his body language just changed. He, he looks like he's up for it now. So let's see how we get on. Just whether Matt gives him the opportunity to uh, to take advantage. Yeah, that's the key, isn't it? Um, Matt needs to have a bad spell as well as half an having a good spell. Yeah. To, certainly to claw back the seven frames, that's the difference at the moment. Melin was just saying that he, he just wants half an to put a fight or, you know, and make it respectable. Well, <laughs> I don't think he's played to land plum on that red up there, but. Uh, it's worked out well for him. I think it's fair to say that uh, there can be no doubt whatsoever now after the game against Stefan and uh, so far tonight that Matt is not an absolute quality stick. Yeah, he's uh, very consistent. Uh, it's inter <laughs> it was interesting because you know for me looking on I'm thinking great shots great shots great shots and and when you stood next to Melon and he's going oh, he's played that bad he's not done this and <laughs> yeah, you yeah. should go X Y Z A B C and you think my god yeah and, yeah. and you don't even see it do you yeah, he, no. he sees the game completely different but then when he explains it to you he's absolutely right yeah. but we, we talked about these being a, a different level um, to the games earlier, but when you're talking about Melon, you, you're talking about uh, you're a couple of levels above the game. He's he's tough. Tough. Wow. Definitely. So a mistake be, uh, from Matt after we just picked him up. Potential turning point. Arthur will be looking. His first target, I think, will be to get to double figures as soon as possible. He'll just be setting little milestones in his yep. mind. He certainly looks more up for it than he did uh, an hour ago. I think he's had a bit of a word with himself and he certainly looks like the half and dad that we've grown to know. And 
he's stepping up with pace, Mark. Yeah, he's playing at a pace that we uh, we love to see as well, as well as uh, Yeah. He is just a little loose with his positioning, you know. He I think wondering. that's the difference. You don't see Matt having to play those shots very often. No. He, he tends to just take a little bit more time. And, and again, oh, there you see. straight there. He didn't want to do that. He'll be okay. The table's maybe not quite as fast as it was for the last PPS, so it could be that that's catching him out. Although, he just tends to be over it in it rather than under it in it. So maybe in not. all fairness, the last PPS, he, uh, that's a confident shot. Oh. Uh, the last PPS, he went out very early. Lost the first two and... If he doesn't get race, I think. Oh, no. Come on, Bass! 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 Why did he not take it to the middle, Mark? Well, I, I think he thought he had two shots, so he thought. He thought better, but I mean, I think. I suppose, really, if you take it to the middle, there's a slim chance that you. Uh, Hit the jaw and you lose it, and he didn't think he could lose it there, but he, he went. He was down very, very quick. He was lucky to hit the black. Yeah. That could uh, that could signal the end. Yeah, it could do. Oh, oh well, well, well. What is happening here? Wow! Wow! He's got away with it, and he will... Uh... <laughs> we were just talking about it maybe being the end, and all of a sudden... Yeah, Kev, I think Shamrock's absolutely right there. If he'd have had one shot, he'd have potted that all day, he would have just rolled it into the middle. Sometimes strange what two shots does to you, but hey, Matt's thrown one in as well, which is... Yep, let's see whether our fan can build on that and, and move move further forward. His breaks have been a little bit better recently. Let's see if he continues in that vein. Nothing down so far, yep, yellow ball down. Yeah, we just heard from the crowd saying it's turning. I'm just updating Facebook as we speak. Yeah, it's getting interesting now. Our fans going to fancy these now, I think. <laughs> Amazing how games can change on one shot. Yeah, Even absolutely. between class players like this. Did that prove that Matt maybe uh, feels the nerves a little bit, or was well, it just? Well, you know, our, our fans taken uh, four of the last six frames, so he's it's going to put a certain amount of pressure on on Matt. He, he'll be feeling that, you know. It, it had to come, you know. They're, they're both great players. Yeah. Um, it's just how a matter of how quick and if Matt can can get some momentum back but at the moment I think all the way through Matt's dictated the pace our fans kind of dictating it a little bit now yeah I think all Matt's pals told us that he doesn't feel the pressure now I don't know if that's just picking him up or I think it's the, I think his consistency yeah. maybe shows that it, it is such a you know you have, you have to be a great great player to to play as consistent as he did at the start of the game throughout yeah. the game yeah. in a race of 21 you know you've got to expect that your partners you know, or your opponent's going to have a have a bit of a run this is a good shot good shot from Arfan and this is it this is it from Arfan he's having that one there. he's back in it Matt's a quality player though I, I don't think he'll worry too much if somebody had said to him you'll be 15 10 up he'd have snatched your hand off yep correct he won't be worrying too much great player but it's great to see our fan fire Good shot again. now, he just needs to make sure he gets above the black. Yep. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's used the red. He didn't mean to, I can assure you. He didn't mean to, but he'll take it. It's one for the break dish count. I don't know how many we've had. Yep, much more comfortable there. 
tattoos it, isn't it? I tell you what. It's a funny statistic, that, isn't it, really? I know, uh, I think Matt's had quite a few dishes from our fans yeah. dry bricks, yeah. but... Well, 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 it's um, it's getting interesting. It's getting interesting. That's a good break yeah, from the ball there. From that. Yeah, I think the uh, Yorkshire contingency on the stream is uh, shouting for our fun now. <laughs> Someone's looking forward to the rematch <laughs> already. <laughs> Frog boys looking forward to a rematch. Let's get this one finished first. <laughs> Matt will be looking to capitalise on such a good break. All the balls are out in the open, nothing on a cushion. I think yellow's slight favourite, Mark. They all go. Uh, I think the reds all go as well. But um, but yeah, I think you're probably right. Yeah, yellows are there. Yeah, yellows just look a bit better pattern-wise to me. Like I know anything about patterns. You might play the red into the middle, you know, and try and play onto the black. I think that's what he's doing. exactly what he's done it's a good shot <laughs> Liam MC 958 says now the commentators have said that come on Matt what, what did we say oh no it's because I said that the Yorkshire contingency have uh, oh, right. started to yeah to shout for our fun yeah, we've been, uh, we've been hidden behind the laptops for the last uh, couple of hours, but all of a sudden it's looking like uh, there could be a bit of a comeback on. Although Matt is looking to uh, nip that in the bud right now with yeah, a, he'd love with to a get great these, dish of his own. He'd love to get these. Sends out a really positive message if he gets these after half on a threatened to come back into a match. I took me out off to half on though because uh, an hour ago I thought he's uh, he just looked a beaten man. Um, he's obviously had a word of himself and summoned up all his mental strength. Yes. Got himself back into it. Yeah, that's a good shot. Just needs to uh, play an yet, yet another stunned shot, I would say. Probably wants to just draw it back a little bit to leave himself an angle to to get past the yellow for the black in the same corner as the red. Well, Stefan saying he never gets a bad nudge. I'd venture to suggest that's because he hardly ever has to move a cue ball anywhere. Can't get a bad nudge when you're only moving it a couple of inches. He plays he plays to land on the ball. He doesn't really he doesn't he very rarely plays to dis disturb balls, doesn't he? Well, tell you what, this is a great answer to our fans. Come back. Two great dishes on the bounce there. Gotta win 11-4. It makes it um, all the more difficult when you when you say it the other way around, doesn't it? He's got to win the match 11-4 from here. You can't see uh, Matt making the mistakes to, to let him in. No, not really. You'd suggest that he needs to win four out of the next five, but oh, he's gone in. Oh, yeah, no, he's just avoided it. He's started getting balls off a break now, though. Could prove a difference. I'm not saying it will.
Yeah, Frog Boy's saying it's a bit of a mad start. I think you must be obvious. I mean, it was only been three breaking dishes between two such high calibre players. So half on on yellows, and he's just uh, made sure of the pocket. Come on, Brian. I'd say yellow's slight favourite here, Mark, but uh, <laughs> you can't really say that with Matt, he's such, a, such an immense player. Yeah, I think the, the red near the black goes into the middle opposite, and if he screws screws back with a bit of bottom right on the ball, he, he could create an angle to go below the red and leave himself a chance. Still a lot of work to do, but you know, in the early part of this match he was getting these. Oh, well, well, that can only be a little bit of nerves and anxiety. That's the first time he's walked away from the table and uh, shown any sort of sign of emotion, really. A bit of a stabbing his cue in the air. That's uh, so unmapped, really, like, isn't it? He, he actually, you could see that he's, he sort of stabbed at that. He, yeah, he didn't play it with any confidence, and he's, he usually strokes the ball so well. So Arfan with a chance to uh, to make him pay for that mistake. It's going to be interesting to see what he does with his two yellows that are close to each other here. Yeah. yeah. That's the key to this frame, I feel. Under any other circumstances, Arfan gets these all day long. But these are not normal circumstances. No, there's a matter of uh, a few thousand pounds on it, what, four to be precise. He's well. going to try and dislodge him now. Oh dear. Well, I think he's still got a yet. One of the, the one nearest the black goes into this bottom corner. I feel he's got to land on it. And and to be fair, when he pots this red, this yellow into the corner, he's, he opens them for the for the top top top, top side of the table. Easy oh, he used it all. That's okay, he's left a good angle. Lot to do Not here, sure. a lot of work even with two shots. I think he just makes sure of the pot here and he, uh, he wastes a shot if he needs to. He's certainly queuing better, Mark. Yeah, he is. He's, yeah. Take the one slightly furthest away here. Yeah. Yeah, he just needs to get this exactly right in his mind as to what he wants to do. Sometimes with two shots you can confuse yourself a little bit. Yeah. He could waste a shot and just bounce it off the cushion, to be fair. But yeah, that's oh, his... Uh, has he got a cushion? <laughs> just, just, but again, that's not as good as it could have been. It's not, is it, at all? A very tentative shot. He can just get his cue on the cue ball, I think, just to draw it back. Uh, that's assuming it passes the black into the middle, which I think it does. Yeah, it flies in. I think he can just get enough of a cue on the bottom of a cue ball. Uh, Briars misses. Claire, we, we don't want to know about Matt's poker face, thank you. <laughs> it's a family show. That's a good shot. shot. It's a good shot and it's a steady finish. It's not as easy as it maybe could have been, but again, it will give him the confidence. Just needs to roll this in. Very good. Uh, it's noticeable that the support is getting a little bit louder again. You, yeah, yeah. you didn't hear him for a long time, uh, whereas now we're, we're getting behind him. Yeah, I think um, I think people just want to see a good game and they want it to continue. So, as much as people have got money on it, it's only midnight. The night is yet young for a Saturday.
Sorry, mate. I just had uh, Dollar talking to me. Red ball potted off a break. It was second yellows there, wasn't it? I think, I think yellows, yeah. But yeah, got to be awkward, yellows. Awkward it? black. But. What's going on with the jukebox? Why is Silent Night playing? Has is is, is this day lasted that long? It's Christmas. I don't know, mate. I thought it was a joke at first. Somebody needs to have a word with the bar staff. Uh, Liam was at last on the jukebox, I think. Is he having a laugh? So he has gone yellow's mark, like we uh, like we said. Yeah. The black is really uh, only his real awkward ball. I think if he leaves the yellow yellow closest to it into the middle, yeah, he's got a chance of getting on it. Bumping it. He'll probably try and uh, make it a little easier. Eight ball wall thinks that Arfan will run out of frames to make a comeback. Yeah, he might be right. Uh, the black's still the problem ball here. Takes the yellow to the bottom left. That's the ball that he gets on his awkward yellow to the middle, but then the black's still going to be where it is. And he'll be having to get off, it, off the two yellows at the opposite side of the table. Well, he's playing to get it. Is he playing to get it out here? I think he nips. He nips this yellow into the middle. Bit of left on the side to straighten it up to, to come back down for the yellow that he's nearest now. He don't like it. Well, he's asking a lot here. It's, it's the first time I've seen him really chase a frame. I'm sure he will have done throughout, but... Uh, Big shot. Wow. Wow. That's all I can say. Wow. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, I mean, Fantastic that's... Uh, Absolutely... Uh, so well uh, judged that shot. Yeah, you know, the pressure on that shot was... Well, I suppose 16-11 up this... Yeah, but he's got half on knocking at the door, threatening to come back. Yeah. And, uh, you, you know, just to, to play that shot just shows that uh, I think his, uh, his pals are absolutely right. The guy's ice cold. Yeah, great shot. Uses the red as a buffer. Nice oh, superb finish yeah, from that, great really. Finish, that. Very good. Half on, yeah, the body language might have changed again a bit. He's just banging the balls in, in the triangle there. <laughs> Let's see if the break's favourable to him. 10 3 needs to win now. It's, uh, it's getting very, very difficult for half on to get. Together as well, yeah. well he, sh he surely should be getting these. The Reds are all dollies. Somebody's asking uh, Matt to step in. I don't realise that he got a ball. Yeah, yeah, he's absolutely got to get these. 
think he might go yeah, red near the black next. Yep, think so. He'll leave himself a plant. Whether it be into the middle or into the corner, I think he'll probably be wanting the, the one into the corner. Uh, I think he's got to take his semi awkward red now. Get it out of the way. Do it early, as they say. Played it well. Do you play plant plant or do you just take the one into the middle? Right, plant in the middle, I think. Plant in the middle, take the one closest to the black spot. Then you've got two balls over the bag. I suppose the only thing is if you over hit the plant in the middle, there's a slight chance the, the red that you use to make the plant could run past the yellow. As long as it goes past the yellow and, it, and then it'll go into the top bag, but you don't have to hit it that hard, to be fair. No, either just drop it in or, or give it some juice and get it back in the second one to the bottom first. Played it well, bounce. Yeah, good shot. Good controlled shot there by uh, Arfan. Yeah, Craig, Craig Van Wiz says Matt looks a pretty ordinary QS, but fair play to the lad. He's done, don't miss much. No, he don't. He <laughs> doesn't. He doesn't do much very spectacular. He just. No, we said that to him last, solid. last game. Um, nothing spectacular. But um, I wish I could be as ordinary as he is. That's for sure. He's a good shot, you know. Yeah, this is a little, little bit of traffic go off the top cush. Confident our fan just plays this without even thinking about it. Oh, wow. Snooked himself. This is, yeah, yeah. this is not good. Some of Matt's uh, some of Matt's supporters are saying massive frame, massive frame. Well, what yep. a shot. Well, Arfan will this be kicking himself. Hurt. This is going to hurt. I mean, it was always going in that direction. It was a. Yeah, that's hit really it hard to, to kick the yellow out of the way, or he misjudged it. Costly, regardless. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, it doesn't do anything spectacular. He does. He does the simple thing. As a rule, he does the simple things very, very well, which in itself is spectacular. I know. Um, but it's. Uh, Yeah, that's, that's what I was trying out. to say, Leon. Uh, Leon. Sorry, Liam. See. Needed better position in the kiddie. Uh, Middle, I think he was supposed to say. Yeah. He ran out of position on his last ball to get onto the block. talking about his cue action not how spectacular he was no I think it was me crap when I said he doesn't really do anything spectacular and yeah. oh, that's meant absolutely a compliment I, I said it to him after his last game against Stefan he also doesn't like how he cues well it certainly works for him because he doesn't miss many Uh, Chris said that um, 
He's very Peter Ebden like uh, <laughs> when we were watching. Yeah, Studies the table, takes there. his time on his shots. So. Yeah, I think uh, once he gets these two balls, and I'm that confident that he will. I think there's no way back for our fan from 18 11 down. Well, he has to win 10-2, doesn't he? Yeah. Which is, he's not won, uh, I think he's not won more than four, four out of six, I think. He can reel frames stuff. off, no problem, but. Yes. Well, he can if it's win a, win a break or something, but no, when, when awesome, Matt's got, Matt. well, he's got minimum 10 breaks, hasn't he? Yeah, such a quality opponent. I know the break dish counter isn't exactly high, but you know, breaking and potting balls, it gives you the chance to take yeah. control of the table. So has it been every time we expected? Toilet break. A little bit of a toilet break going on now. Hey, look, Danny Burns just walked back in the building. Where's he been? He's not looking so well. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's oh, he's, he's back. Oh, it's not his. Uh, it's not drink related then. I thought he, I thought he was on the table. Looks like he was about to fall off table. But I thought he was due to be here, but mm. he's not got all the greatest back. Probably a good job his match got cancelled this uh, this weekend. He was of course supposed to be playing Cal Boudman. Yeah, Liam says that he uh, can't disagree about half on being up against it. 18-11, that being said, he was 13-4 down, so he's done well to pull a few back. I don't think it's over just yet. I'd never say it's, it's absolutely over, because Arfon is a class player. Um, but uh, I just think Matt's too savvy to let him back into this game. I'd love to see a, a massive comeback because I think it'd be fantastic for uh, for you guys watching out on the stream and the uh, huge crowd that we've got here in the club. Matt's back from the toilet now, so we're uh, ready to get underway again. Well, Dan Aldino says, half and just bottled it. I don't think that's the case. Um, I don't think he'd ever seen particularly bottle it. I think he's, his temperament was maybe a little bit suspect in the middle part of the game, but I don't think he... Uh, Bottle it, he's, he's played too many events. And there we go, that's massive. Wow. Look at them reds. Yep, reds look good. He's got a chance to uh, to develop the red and the black if he needs to. With this first shot. He just needs to touch it really, he doesn't need to do anything spectacular. We've got interleague tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, Milnes Bridge. <laughs> Will we screw it down and uh, try and disturb him? Or? I think that's what oh, he tried to he do, tried but he's actually made it worse. Just put it a little bit closer. He'll yeah. have another go now, maybe. The red uh, nearer the middle bag. Send the white off two cushions into the black. Or oh, one cushion. I think you're right, the angle 
to me looks like two cushions, yeah. side and bottom. That way the white should flick above the above the black and not stick to it. Mr. Red, he's missed. He's missed the red. Well, if he'd have got the red, he'd have probably hit the black. Bit of support for our fun now, but <laughs> some work to do to win this frame from here. He's got, he's got a, a fair bit work. to do. Crackman Wiz says when the inevitable happens, who would be next from that? Can't see many jumping up to play him. Well, you're quite right, I can't see many either. There'll be players. There'll be players. Cy Phillips. Cy Phillips will probably, uh, his name will be mentioned. Um, be interesting to see what Rob Wilson says about this. Craig Day. I think Rob Wilson will tell anyone who will listen that he'll play, but I don't think he will. <laughs> Chris Mellon would be a good game. Well, it would for uh, Chris Mellon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Matt, he's different class, he's a fantastic player, but there's very few players at Melling's level. I, I, I'm not even sure I would be comfortable with putting that game on here. Even if both players are still quite happy with it. Well, we'd put it on because... Well, because we would, but... En Envian, uh, what have you missed? You've missed um, Dan Knight beating Nathan Prescott, 15-11. You've missed Lloyd Freeman beating Matt Schofield, 21-10. And this has been a yeah pretty good game, I have to say. Started really strong from Matt. He went uh, well, half on start, half 14, went up, didn't he? 14, no, 13, 4 up he went. And Arfans, uh, he started to come back into it in the middle section. And Matt's just stepped it up again. And he, yeah, he was trying to divide the ball, but he's got the, comf com he's got the comfort of the red over the corner bag, so he knew he wasn't going to leave an easy finish. Dave um, starts if Mellon's joining Q School, he certainly is. Yeah, he is. Paid his money. Good luck to him. Yeah, it'd be good to see him do well. Oh, hi, Ian. Ian Sunderland, welcome. Oh, this is a great shot. What a fantastic shot. And then he turns it, he turns it with that shot. If he gets, uh, if he gets the angle on the red, he'll play the red off the bottom of the yellow and open it back up. But he needs to, uh, he needs to make this pop and then leave the angle on the on the red into the middle to do that. Why do we need more beer, Liana? We've been a bit dull. Do we need What's to start talking cheese? about cheese again? <laughs> it's been a long day, very tired. Can't, can't be bothered yeah, with equipment. He's going bottom. Well, he's well, let's well, see how uh, he, might, he could play the plant here. I thought he was going to do that with a bit of pace, me. Actually, I think he'd have wanted that in. Looking at how we've developed. Yeah, it's no great shakes that it hasn't gone in, but. <laughs> <laughs> He's just looking at the screen, Leon. Awesome. <laughs> New sofa, now beer stained. <laughs> Not even that. Confidence, Confidence. Confidence. 
That's <laughs> why his team says, will he be more annoyed you spilled beer on the sofa or that you spilled beer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Both. It's a good shout. After spending 60 quid on beer today, probably yep. the beer. £60 beer budget. I was going to say most of it will be going when I get home, but to be honest with you, I think when I get home, I'll probably fall asleep on the bottom step. So half on in control this frame. He's going to leave this right up the back side of the red and force him to play, well, he tried to. So as things stand, Arfan can't really lose his frame. He needs to play the yellow that he, just below the bolt line that is near. Because otherwise that yellow is going to end up right on the uh, on top of the red. In a DF. I think he's played the wrong yellow here, me, personally. I think if, uh, if Matt gets a, a shot on this red, and then could DF yellow onto red to pop the yellow. The yellow stays tight up there. Mm. Yep. If he pops the, uh, well, if you can see it, if he pops the red to the top left, then you know that that's what he's going to be going for next. Well, I think we both thought that that black was uh, yeah. going in the bag there, but we'll, we'll have to play an ultra attacking shot here and uh, play the uh, the cannon. Looks like it. Two in one, maybe. Yep. It's a good shot. Should be looking at 18 12 here. Good attacking shot from our fan. Oh, here we go. No! Someone's happy. My next opponent's just walked in the building, Mr. Bodsworth. I'm going to have to have a stare out with him. Stare off. Rah, rah. I'm a tiger. Rah. Yeah, yeah, we'll hand over after this one. Yeah. After this room, yeah. we'll hand over. Dullen. Dull and Duller will come back on the on the stream and uh, and uh, and then Leanne will fall asleep and the rest of that beer will be all over the sofa. <laughs> Got a feeling. The lad that's shouting is an Arthur fan somehow. Hey up, Hector Reeves on. Harris, you'll have been proud of your practice partner today. I don't know whether you tuned in to see it or, or whether you were. Uh, were you we on qualifiers? Oh, good man. I hear you just uh, qualified for the England B team. Well done, mate. Yeah, congratulations, Harris. Your uh, your practice partner was uh, outstanding today. Twenty-one ten. Um, played really well. Looks really comfortable. Matt didn't play as well as he can do. So uh, 
I'm not saying the scoreline flattered Lloyd because it didn't. He played he played well enough. He did. He, he beat the player that was in front of him, but but we certainly know that Matty can play better than he did. Uh, but Lloyd Lloyd was very solid today. Sensational Lloyd. Uh, probably man of a match today, I would say so far. Yep. Uh, although I won't try phoning him now. Last I saw, he was crawling around on the floor with Dan Knight. Oh dear. Having a bit of. Uh, Man loving because they've both won the money matches. Well, that's How's that not gone in? I'm just going to watch the rebound, the rebound, the replay of this one. It looked like it was in the bag to me. It's missed a few actually, as, as, as Matt, you know, to say that he is, he is a bit of a machine. Uh, he has missed a few balls, but Athens sort of not punished him as. Uh, as much as you would expect him to. Yeah, it went. It went far away. Yeah, baby. That's it. Come on, this. Um, is he deliberately left a double JP's line? tuned in as well. <laughs> oh no, you can see the yellow neighbor black. Yeah, he, he was buzzing. He, oh. he was buzzing afterwards. Was uh, was Lloyd Harris, but he, very all, all you know, still very very uh, realistic about the performance and about how well Matt played and stuff. So not getting carried away, but yeah, he was he was very solid. Very solid. Another, another miss very hard from half and he didn't capitalise on Matt's earlier mistake. Good red to start with here. Oh, this is interesting. I thought he'd leave that so he could clear the bag. Maybe the... Uh, Well, the red obviously goes into the opposite corner. Oh, it does actually. I can see the table and flies in. So. Looking favourite to go uh, within two frames of victory here. Yeah. yeah, I think Arfan just uh, left himself too much to do. A little bit awkward oh, queuing. He's left awkward queuing. And uh, it's one of them that these, these sort of shots you'd rather be a bit straighter on than this. Although he can see the bag, he's almost playing it into half a bag, really. Because that yellow on the cushion, it just makes it awkward. It, yeah, it, it, it passes clearly, line, doesn't it? Yeah, it passes clearly, but it, it feels like you're playing it into a tighter bag. I'll know as soon as it's. Uh... No, he's missed it. Come on, Arthur! Come on! I love you, mate. Hello. I don't, I don't think I don't think Arfan's the kind of player who uh, really appreciates people shouting and screaming either so, uh, I don't think he'll bother him at all I think he, he just gets on with the game he He's got it. He's got wow. it. Someone's just asking whether there's been any uh, break dishes. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll just show you the break and run counter. Not as many as we thought. I'm 
Mm. It's not. It's not the best shot because no. he's giving him a chance just to to flick the red, but um, it's not bad. He's still favourite. Yeah, I think yellow's still favourite. It's quite difficult to flick the red and, uh, and actually get it in front of a yellow. A good white is what he needs. Yeah, I'll tell you what, that's as well as he could have done from there, I think, Mark. You've still got, I think, half on all uh, three of these. Oh, he's got Where's the black? Where's game. the black? That's all right, good shot. Yeah, he's happy with that. Surely not another comeback, Mark. Well, he's... He won't put it past him. He's queued that well. He's got his fan club in. His one-man band. Lee Barlow. Come on! Come on! Oh, yeah, we're swapping round in over. Sorry. We're off. We're in. Yeah. Uh, see you soon, guys. Yeah, see if we can salvage something now. Uh, got rid of the C team. Back on. Okay, guys. Uh, we're back. How come I can't hear anything, does? I don't know, mate. What have you done? You aren't plugged in, that's why. <laughs> if, if they're asking who's uh, shouting, it's, um, it's Lee Barwell that's shouting out. Mr. Italiano. Mr. Luke, Mr. Luke Meadmore has joined us in the commentary booth. <laughs> yeah, Ian, I, 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 Ian, you're right. He's, right, he's going to be right morning. <laughs> he's a one-man fan club at the moment. <laughs> he's, he's laid wrong way on the set, he's Jack. Go on then, Luke, what what we going for, mate? That's why. Right. Hang on. Is this happen? Right, fair enough. Nice shot, is that? There's no reason why Affen can't clear it from here. Every shot is in the middle of the table. This ball at the top of the table, if he pots this and gets in the middle of the table, is fine. Am I talking rubbish here? I'm sorry. 
No, I'm talking. I'm talking microphone. Please tell me shut up because I'm just talking. <laughs> I'm talking. No, you got to be happy with that. He's in middle. You don't. You don't need to do anything more than that. I'm quite. I'm quite impressed with Arthur. You know, this this will look him quite far away from his reaches of his grasp. He is. He's not. He's not holding back. I'm quite impressed. 18-14, there's, there's no reason why he can't call this back. No matter how good Max played. Max played pretty well. You can't take that away from him. <laughs> you can say something here, Daz, because... It's all right, they're asking is anyone, now. Is anyone... They are, they're not commentating now, Dave Green how says how drunk is Mead more. Yeah, Dave uh, Green. The, the answer is pretty drunk, Dave. Dave Green, yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's your problem? <laughs> Eels 96. Liam Eels. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> That's my answer to that. That's a shot. Yeah! Perfect. Sorry. Nope. Oh, good shot. This is what happens when you work all day and don't eat anything. You sit here. <laughs> drunk. <laughs> On a Saturday night, that's a good shot. That's a good shot, is it? I, I think it's good. Yeah, gotta be happy with that. So 18-14. 18-14. Nice game on. This is his game on. Thank you, Mr. Meadmore. Thank you, Luke Meadmore. Beautiful. <laughs> Always try and get a guest speaker in. No, no, no. Did very well there. Uh. We turned it off and it went on. <laughs> Cold drinking on the empty head. Uh, right. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Legs are down. Right then. <laughs> Limited vocabulary on there. Yeah, now. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> yes, you see. <laughs> the difference between the stream team and any drunk bloke in the pub. Well, back to some sensible commentary now, Phil. Luke, Luke's leaving us. Luke's on the, uh, actually playing on the stream in a fortnight's time against Jack. He is doing. They've both been drinking shots tonight, a pair of them. You and your uh, opponent in a few weeks' time. What's my point? <laughs> the pot's gone up, that's the point. Yeah, I know you're saying. <laughs> I get that, Ian. So I'll tell you what, Daz, getting back to the pool here, it's looking good. It is, our fans are a bit of a comeback here. We can't do that, mate. <laughs> he has, but I can't say that. <laughs> yeah, please. Come on, kids. Come on, Come on, Come on, Luke. Yeah, cheers, Luke. <laughs> yeah, he's right there. The JP's saying you can never write half on off. He's too good. He's saying, yeah, that's correct. 
It is. He uh, he looked down and out, did our fan. He was uh, 13 4 down, Phil. Is that what he got? 13 4 down. 13 4 at some point. Yep, and he's uh, he's pulled it back 18 14. He's still. Still there, still in it. I think even you know, um, in saying all that, I think I think Matt Braley himself would be the first one to say that. Now Pete's uh, back uh, back home. Um, Nathan saying, "Hey guys, just got in, absolutely gutted with today. Played not very well, but thanks for having <laughs> me." <laughs> That's very diplomatic of you, Daz. <laughs> Yeah, just want your day today, day, uh, Nathan. Thanks, though, Nathan. You, you, you yeah. stepped in and, and, and you filled yeah, the Yeah, you, you come in at uh, short notice. M really appreciated it. Thank you. Yeah. Pete, good to see you. Yeah, good to see you, Pete. Thank you for your support. Uh, Liam MC958 saying any, anyone for the score prediction? I reckon 21 18, Matt. I reckon 21 20, does. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, JP's just played exactly the same, but to our fun. Well, I, didn't, I, I didn't say which way. No, I no, I, I don't know which. I just, I just want it to go on. <laughs> what, what we want to predict in is, the, is the finish time. Well, to be honest, I'm on my second win now, Phil. I'm, I'm back at it now. Are we going? I'm fine now. Like, you know, when, when you haven't slept for four months. Sorry. That's Dazzy's elbow. It's okay, sorry, we've got so many computers lying around that Dad has uh, nudged a few. Oh, hang on, hang on. Then. You're definitely not coming on. <laughs> you, you can't put that pint there. Oh, Dan just put a pint down right yeah. here all the computers. Ian said if it were black ball rules, it'd be finished for 10.30. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, quite, I must admit, I quite, uh, I quite enjoyed the black ball rules today. Uh, first time I've commented, commentated on one, and uh, well, uh, yeah, I quite enjoyed it. I'm getting a bit worried now because Dan Knight's uh, you, you know, whispering in my ear. He's, sho he's shown a lot of interest in you today. He has. Now. I'm worried. Uh, it, mu it must be a sudden thing, but you know he's getting quite close. Are you two sharing when you get over to Portugal? No, I'm yeah, not sharing. No, there. no, the twin rooms. It's all right. No. Oh, uh, Luke, 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 Luke. It's all right, Lee, Luke, Luke, and Lee still watching. Yeah, it's been a long day, Phil, but uh, as I said, got me second win now, I'm, you know. Nothing wrong with that, Dan. Just, just, just a little, uh, we got a little yeah. bit, uh, a little bit tired. Maybe, and, uh, had a, maybe had a power nap, Dan. No, I just went outside, got a bit of fresh air. Did you? Walk so around. I've seen outside, you know. Splashed your face. With I, I cold hadn't cold seen cold. it since uh, <laughs> nine o'clock this morning. Apparently it has <laughs> been a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, I can do one. Kidding. Uh, well played, mate. The better player won. Fancy a rematch in a couple of months' time? Then give me a shout. Dan. Dan. Nathan uh, says, do you fancy a rematch in a couple of months' time? He's had a few as Dan, so he's just uh, he's just focusing on the text. Just hang on a second. <laughs> good evening, Andy. I hear you uh, had a good win today. Yes, well done, Andy. That's good to hear, Daz. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, Nathan Dan saying he'll definitely do a rematch. <laughs> Ian, Ian saying, uh, let's have an old EP match to finish night off. <laughs> We'll have a game of killer, doesn't it? <laughs> With the old spots and stripes. Andy will remember them. I think I'll go next. I'm going to play this melon kid. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> well, so, he's 1-0. 
one there is one closer. Yeah, nineteen fourteen. I thought that uh, Dan had retired after his money match earlier on. Oh no, he's buzzing for it again now. He's coming out of retirement now. <laughs> Red from our fan. That's a lot of work to do here yet, Phil. Oh yeah, there is. And in and in uh, trying to get his reds out, he's going to be getting the yellows out as well. So that's, that's there's, right. there's a risk in doing it. Oh, that's. Ooh. Oh, he's missed it. Wow. Well, okay. <laughs> the answering over and out you've tipped me overnight D&D &D. <laughs> yeah. yeah what whatever the an <laughs> good night you'll go clean the sofa before Bucky gets home <laughs> don't forget to charge your nexus up Well, I want to know, is it, who, who's sharing with Dan on the, on the part of the old trip? Who's the unlucky guy? For you, are like, no, 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 no. He's no. already chosen you. No. <laughs> Out of everyone going on the trip, he's come to you and chosen you. I had to share with Bucky last time, so... Bucky last time? What? Uh, Dolphin. Yeah, no, no, no. And, uh, and, and, and Bucky him. walking in his boxer shorts is not something you want to see at 3 o'clock in the morning. Hello. Hey up. Dan's... Dan's... Uh, <laughs> Ah, uh, Lee, uh, it has been a long day for us, mate. You and Luke uh, still watching. Oh, is that Luke and Lee? Yeah, yeah. Well done, guys. I'm glad he's still with us. Because we can't go home, neither. <laughs> <laughs> Might be daylight when we get home, Phil, at this rate. Well, the minute the game ends, we've got to... Uh, Clear up. Clear up, and oh, there's, a good, there's a good two or three hours afterwards. <laughs> it's lucky I live upstairs. Yeah, it's all Dan's fault. It's all Dan Knight's fault. Yeah, I'll take the blame. It's fine. <laughs> Long day for two and out, yeah. Dave Green still here. He's been here from the start. Yeah, but he, he he's watched every single ball potted on the stream today. He is viewer of the day, though. Viewer right? of the day, without viewer a doubt. <laughs> I'm definitely going to produce a graphic with leaderboard, and Dave Green will top will top it <laughs> with the number of hours watched. Ian's saying the close part of more ways, so it took him ages to get home. <laughs> God, it's just what he need. Luckily, I'm only yeah, uh, it's like five minutes from the club, so it's not what, too bad for me. Away? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lee, Lee said he'd be near if it weren't for the girls. So. <laughs> Harris is saying leave it all set up for tomorrow's interleague match. I'm certainly not coming and commentating on it. If I come in well, here again, I, we'll I think still be here by the, the, time the, the wife would kill me. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> oh, that's a good shot. He's okay. That's looking good. Is that? Yeah, Andy saying up. That was a good night. Oh, we've had a good night. It's been uh, it's been awesome in here today. Uh, oh, the, the atmosphere has been brilliant. The Lloyd match was uh, was a great one. Lloyd played exceptionally well today. Uh, I think he won twenty one ten. Dan Knight was even extreme. It was just like awesome. Yeah, we've got Dan Knight here waffling on. <laughs> Dan, Dan's the reason why we're so late. Dan Knight made his <laughs> debut. <laughs> And uh, him and Nathan decided it was a good uh, thing to last uh, an hour and uh, 30, 40 minutes uh, for the first four frames. He's got in the world record, in the Guinness Book of World Records. <laughs> Ian is the dog. <laughs> it is the dog, you're quite right. Nathan Harris qualified uh, for the England B. That's a nice shot, does. It is, Phil. Just looking at this, Did, though. Has he just got to run this through, hasn't he, really? Play it in uh, well, I'm just the top centre. I'm thinking about the black ball, does, that's all. Uh, it goes in this centre pocket, though. It just he does, so he's got to be careful. He's got to make sure he's got the right angle on it. He's just looking at that now. Nathan, Nathan saying Dan will be giving him more money back in the rematch well Nathan will have a bit more time to prepare on that I hope next time it's never easy stepping in uh, shut short notice no 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 Oh, that's lovely. Well played. Had enough angle on that to stun down. Well, there's a lot of predictions coming in now. 2116 uh, for Matt, or if not 2115. Well, there's only one certainty well, it's, uh, now. It's, it's 2014. Yeah, he's on the hill, so... Lou well, Roberts saying uh, 2114. Good chance of that, I believe now. Well, half and's breaking though. Oh uh, yeah. Half and does prefer the yellows in the front, you know. To be honest, though, I, I'm uh, yeah, I noticed that. Um, I can't, I can't believe uh, what have we had three break, break dishes. Oh, I'll just no, uh, yes, I'll just show you that. Whilst, uh, whilst. Yeah, three, three break dishes in the match uh, with these two players is uh, unbelievable. Uh, I'll pass to you know where I can see dates, details of the third third pool series event. Uh, they're on the uh, 147 stream t uh, stream website. The the third series is on the 5th of June. I think it's fifth fifth or sixth. Pete's saying, tell Christine to show up. <laughs> We've been doing that all night, Pete, you know. <laughs> he just doesn't take any notice. Dad. Sorry, it's 7th of June. I apologise. 7th of June. Daz and you're on... Oh, no, you're not. You're on Smirnoff. Yeah. I've had a selection of drinks today, Phil. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. A good day enjoyed by all. Been a fantastic day here at the 147. Hope you have uh, you've had the same on the stream. Dave Green must be enjoying it. He's had a marathon. <laughs> You're right, Andy's saying it's a long, long day. It has been a long, long day. Uh, Gary, uh, the owner, picked me and Philip at nine o'clock this morning. We come and moved all the tables out, set it all up, and uh, yeah, it is a long day. 
people don't realise uh, <laughs> how much goes into it really as you, as you know what goes into it Andy Oh it's thoroughly enjoyable to do does Oh it is, it is enjoyable but it uh, can, <laughs> can be hard work Yeah, yeah <laughs> Daz, stop moving that way. I've just moved something there. Uh, yeah, and you've just blown my ears off. I do apologise for that, guys. <laughs> oh, that's that's great, come to, it's good. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. <laughs> Dave just saying it's been thoroughly enjoyable. Absolutely fantastic. You're a true gent, Andy. Thank you very much. We only do it because we love the pool, well, that's it. Uh, you know, all you've got, lo- all you've got to love it or else you wouldn't do it, would you? No, no, no. Absolutely. Well, I think he wanted to go into black there, but he's okay still. <laughs> no, and the reason I'm getting back to the game, Daz, is because I think this, uh, there's a good chance of this being over. To be Andy's honest. asking how this game's been. It's been a good game, Andy. Um, Arthur uh, struggled a little bit to start. We went... 13-4 behind in half and then he pulled it back a little bit um, but he's, he's, he's struggled he's struggled a little bit yes he's not been uh, you know I thought it'd be a little bit closer than it has been to be honest when I've uh, predicted earlier on I think it goes back to the uh, whoever got the early lead does and uh, you know once that lead's established it's always very difficult to try and recover it is it is yeah you insane say more for the game that's why we do it absolutely absolutely that's a super shot is that Arthur's uh, 66 saying it's been awesome lads, well done. Cheers. <laughs> yes, superb stream commentary. Cheers. You're right, does he getting all emotional? I'm getting all emotional. <laughs> I, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm filling up, mate. You're ch- joking. Filling up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's lovely, Daz. That's lovely. That's how you do it. <laughs> You do it for your adoring fans. <laughs> That's it, yeah. <laughs> so, Phil, two, uh, two good pots and it's all over. Yeah, with the angle though he's got on this red, it's not going to be uh, that simple. No, it's not. Do we, do we overhit this? Do we make sure and come across to the cushion? Oh, what, what, what do we do? Uh, Green is saying that when we do the interview after the game, make sure the microphone is close to them. Could hardly hear the last interviews. I'll just turn it up a bit, Dave. Actually, on it, I've got the volume was a little bit low on the uh, mic that Paul had. Yes, please. Well, yeah, I thought one, I, one pot there, Phil. Yeah, now that's what I that's what I thought. I thought he'd make sure it'd come further over than yeah. not enough. Yes. At least he's got a shot. I know it's blind, but he has a shot. Yeah, he's saying he's just got to make, uh, make sure, really. Yeah, Pete's saying uh, awesome, Matt, well played. More angle than camera shows, yeah. That's a great pop from uh, yeah, Matt, so well done, Matt, Matt really. That's excellent, well done. We're going to uh, pass you over shortly to uh, Paul Buck, who will do the interview with uh, both players. 21-14. Thanks well everyone done, for everyone for watching. So we're just going to uh, make the... OK, uh, we'll just try and... Uh, trying to get the guys out of the way so we can see the, the Just try and uh, grab a word with the players, players for the interviews. Um, <laughs> Arfan, unlucky pal. Can I grab a word with you? Yeah. 
Matthew! Paul! We, we, Paul. we expected <laughs> Matt, Matt just hugging the limelight there. Have you not done that enough yet tonight, Matt? Have fun. Come and join me, pal. I know it's uh, not easy to do this just after uh, just after losing a game like that. I think at any level of pool, um, the break is a very important shot, but at this level, it's it's so mu much more important. Did you find the break just deserted you a little bit today? Yeah, I mean, early doors. Uh, I don't I don't know if I made mistakes or uh, to be honest, there five four. I think that, uh, five four or six four down. Uh, he must have won. I don't know, eight, nine frames on the bounce. I, I don't know if I made mistakes or the, but I had some bad run of the ball, but it, it happens. You know, next time I'll walk into the casino, just bet on red. It's just too much luck involved in the game. So it's just, yeah, I'm, I'm done with money matches. It's, it's, it's no point risking money um, when, it's, when there's just too much money, uh, um, luck involved in the game. It's just, I thought I could do it, but <laughs> uh, Matt's played really well. I mean, I'm not taking anything away from him, but he, you know, he had a, Good runner balls and off breaks, little nudges here and there. But you need them to win any game, any tournament. You need luck. So uh, he, had the, he had the luck tonight. Yeah, but yeah. I think the, the mid part of the game, you, you, your usual composure seemed to have sort of left you a little bit, which not like you at all. Was there anything that was particularly niggling you or? I don't know. It's maybe maybe because I was eight nine frames behind. You know, it's tough. You know, coming back from the way Matt was breaking. I, even when I was even when I started coming back at him later on, he, he kept on breaking addition. Yeah, you know, I come back at him. He kept on breaking addition. So it's just just you know, can be demoralising. But I, I gave him my best. So. You kept fighting. You, you definitely kept. You know, you, you hung in there towards the end. And it looked like you'd got your composure back yeah, and. I mean, I never you know, people were saying head up, but I never let my head drop. It's just yeah, I just needed, yeah, I don't know, good, good run of balls. Um, you know, like three or four frame stretch where I had, you know, breaks were gonna go for me, or you know, I, I got one or two lucky nudges here and there, but it just never happened for me. I, I might have had two, you know, two good frames on the bounce, but that, that's all I got. It's just. Yeah, it just deserted you a little bit. Finally, just a word from Matt. Yeah, Matt's played well. I'm not taking anything away from him. He, he, he does what he's you know, capable of. He, he takes the finishes out. You know, it's, it's just fair play to him. He's um, maybe not as you know good to watch on the eye as, as some others, but it, it doesn't matter how you put him, but you, you know, the same result, so <laughs> fair play to him. Well, we've enjoyed watching him, mate. You know, tough luck. Do come back. Yep. Half and that. Very worthy. Competitor, guys. <laughs> Mr. Brealy. Here he is. <laughs> well done, Matt. Absolutely fantastic again. Uh, you like playing here, don't you? Yeah, yeah, it's not bad, is it? Yeah, I can't call the table, can I? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There was a few uh, Ivy shots, weren't there, you know, like especially early on, you know, that, that missing the first frame was shocking. <laughs> really, but uh, kicks into, you know, probably in the sort of third or fourth frame, I think I dished up and then it all started looking up after that. Didn't it? Yeah. We, we were quite surprised to see you miss, so maybe you're not a robot after all. Oh, slightly malfunctioning at times, yeah, but certainly most of the time you were. I think uh, probably a tougher game psychologically than the game against Stefan, I would say. Yeah, without a doubt, I think that's probably the reason, really. You know, I threw in a, a couple of dodgy misses, and it probably is because, obviously, I know that half, and if I make a mistake, he's going to be dishing up, really. So, yeah, he's a quality player. And uh, when we were chatting to uh, Chris Melling during the game, he said he was looking for a game. Do you fancy it? No. <laughs> No, you don't fancy playing your pops now. Yeah, mate. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think, you know, there will be, we said the same to Lloyd after he played so well earlier, there probably will be players looking to play, I would imagine, especially players from around here. You know, they'll want to sort of get one over on you after you've uh, you beat Stefan so well and you've you, you, you held off uh, our fans' comeback tonight. Um, do you fancy coming back and doing it again? Uh, yeah, without a doubt. Yeah, if you can arrange a game, just not against Melinor Hill, and then, uh, <laughs> and then, yeah, I'll be back. <laughs> you like the venue? Uh, it's cracking venue. Yeah, best venue I've seen. Superb. Yeah. That's great to hear. I think the important bit's about to happen. Mr. Lamb behind me has some envelopes full of cash. There you go. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for your winner tonight, 
Matt Brealy, superb Matt, well done mate, fantastic. Well that sort of wraps it up guys, uh, once again thanks for uh, everyone who watched, uh, it's been a fantastic day, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, and uh, we hope to see you again soon, we're back on the 10th of May, uh, we've got um, our very own stream team of Mark Lamb playing Ryan Bodsworth, we've got uh, a local lad Jabber uh, playing uh, Phil Schofield, and then uh, the last match of the day is uh, Jack Ashcroft versus Luke Meadmore, which is the uh, the deciding game. Two two games, all one game, all it stands at at the moment. Uh, so we look forward to seeing you then. Thanks very much and uh, good night.